And we are live with our hands. So uh, sure. welcome, everyone, um, to another Monday with Crit the Bed. Apologies for a couple of minutes late. Uh, that's on me. I had to do a little bit of um, additional, a uh, little bit of Q&A with my uh, players at the beginning. and um, But that's all done. And we're really happy to be live with the full <laughs> crew for like the first time in maybe two months, I think. Woo-hoo! Seems crazy. Woo-hoo! Yeah, so super, super excited. Um, so without yes. further ado, I won't take up too much time at the top. We'll just do a very, very quick recap. Um, a little bit of ad, uh, channel admin, and then we'll go straight into the game. So, <clears throat> previously on Crit the Bed, uh, leaving the rest of the group out to suddenly explore Chad's former pad, our favourite lizard wizard descends the stairs of Akaran's occult and creative anatheum to find his former carer, only to discover the door and the window smashed in. Stepping outside, the rest of Black Myers not fared any better. Uh, so Chad throws some rocks back through the top windows to alert the rest, and they all explore the village for survivors. Using Parter's location spell, they discover the presence of some villagers in the mayor's house. Still, before they can rescue them, Parter gets into a fight with a spider on the roof, and then takes <laughs> on a quest to find a different spider uh, to mate with, so she can have children before she dies. But summoning eight five spaders to liaise with her instead. After turning, uh, after turning Chad into a pincushion whilst he waited, they knock on the door and let themselves in to find a scared mayor and his wife, two dozen survivors, and one very sleep deprived and odd Akaran that has been going without sleep for days to protect the house. Agreeing to take majority of the pee that has accumulated in the house, the party trek off to Lumbergost in search of the foul creatures that have destroyed their home. So that was basically last episode in a nutshell. Uh, uh, there you go, Ellie. <laughs> I'm leaving my phone. What? One Ellie's <laughs> Yeah, at least it's still on brand. Jump, jump, like, wasn't wasn't Akron like a creep, like tickling your belly button or something? Yeah. Akron's yeah, not a creep. Well, yeah, he, he was, was a little bit. Oh, to be fair to him, he had he'd been keeping so, everything. So. Just so I've got this straight. You help a spider on a sex quest. Yeah. You turn Parker into a. Pincushion. No, no, no. Chad. I got shot by a Chad. ton of crossbows. Okay. Oh, so not an actual pincushion. I was like, okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're pincushions now. <laughs> We've been potatoes. <laughs> There's been more things. Um, <laughs> and then you enter a, the mayor's house and it's full of piss. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Because they haven't been able to go outside because <laughs> there's furry knolls. God damn it. Parter almost had a kind of party with a spider yeah well kind you say that almost the, you were thinking the spider about it. proposition no the spider proposition me and then you lot were trying to pressure me into turning into a spider to go and mate with her and I, and, yeah. didn't, you, didn't you kill the first spider i don't think there was that i killed the first spider he was the, the first spider was a dick he was <laughs> he was, was really oh gosh josh. josh was really into it and well, it, it just went on and on oh, until <laughs> So I I turned her down and I sent her in eight little spider friends to get with. Nice. And I'm glad I did because the rest of them reminded me that female spiders eat the male spiders. So, yeah. you know, might have done it for the views, might have done it no. for the likes. Do it for the ground. Have died. And now we have but to go would... to Lumbergast, even though we hate that guy. <clears throat> even though you hate that guy. Yep. <laughs> right. um, yep. Canonically a person. Yeah. I also I don't I I feel bad bringing this up because <laughs> I feel like um I feel like it would be in our benefit and everyone's benefit to forget that I remembered this. But don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what we done? Josh, sorry, Parter lost his arm and his arm is a two hundred year old <laughs> ghost woman who he's been <laughs> having some sort of <laughs> Like, yeah, that's right. I do experiments oh, with it yeah. now, and it's really uncomfortable. And that <laughs> happens, and we all blocked it out, but it's still there. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of things we all have just kind of glossed over. <laughs> Why isn't it's Iris telling hole. us this? <laughs> Don't blame Iris. Yeah, you do, you, you, Iris only knows what you've told Iris. <laughs> um, yeah, she's called Lady Suspiria. Um, yeah, that's right. And. <laughs> There's there's more like if if we want to go into it, I just thought that was a bit more. How could there be more than a ghost lady? <laughs> so in, much more. In Carter's arm. Like, 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst one, maybe. We um, lost part of me on three. I also um, think that the reason that we're obsessed with bananas is because in our amnesia state, we remember that we were supposed to remember the banana Jolkin twins, whatever we used to call them, because we're yeah. supposed to go meet them yeah, soon. Jammers. And yeah. like, you frequently call them banana twins. Yeah. <laughs> banana twins. And they they told us that they were going to take 30 days and we were actually going to go back and meet up with them. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's been 30 days anyway, to be fair, because we've just messed around for like maybe a week. Yeah. But still, Iris. we should probably Let's remember ask. that that's bad happened, that we have to go meet them. Who are the banana Let's twins? Iris. <laughs> The, the Goliath incest couple that ruled not... the show. <laughs> yeah, they, they are coming in and they're brothers. Like <laughs> they are brothers this and sisters. Different. This is different to the incest <laughs> to the sexy incest. Also, <laughs> they yeah, were not incestuous. But... They were. They were. <laughs> <laughs> but you did find out very recently that they were dead because you um... uh, went inside the bag and upended it, and there were just skulls fell out. Oh, yeah, everything we've put in the bag is dead. The bag, yeah. that we want, the bag that we don't have because it fell into a black hole. The bag of death. Oh, like, no, no, what? It didn't. Oh, it did. It? did. Oh, yes. oh, okay. I didn't remember that. Okay, so. No, because just, no, no, it almost bag. did, but then didn't. No, it fell in and Tim had to roll the thing to see if the universe ended and it didn't. That's right. Yeah, I did have to because. Yeah, because a, a sphere of annihilation plus a bag of holding can end the world <laughs> if, they, if they collide. <laughs> So, so that explains why the twins are in there because that's no, not even so a bag. Where did Alice, I put why are you telling Tim this? <laughs> just a bag. It's not breaking had, a bag. It's <laughs> just carrying out a huge bag. bag. <laughs> 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 oh, no, <laughs> it's like this. It's just a normal sack. It's a normal sack with dead bodies and a couple bananas. Yeah, you just written on the outside of the bag of holding. <laughs> Love Chad. <laughs> well, okay. Um, we also. Well, that's nice. I just want to remind everyone. This is like, wow. We have. Um, so, you know, we thought our little friend had died because I think we were combining the two of them. But there was two. There was. I think he was called Arid. Was the. Mm -hmm. Arid was the. Um, was was Mike, it the vampire stuff boy? Yeah, yeah, Mike's yes, he did die. We definitely Aaron lost him. Aaron died I think because now, he was Joshua. We left him in the sun. No, I, I, yeah, I killed him, yeah. <laughs> we killed him. Yeah, we, we know that. Yeah. But there was another no. guy that we, I think, in our brains combined, and that was Sebastian yeah. C. Craig Sandal. That's right. Yes. Oh, which yes. is which yeah. like Chad frequently strapped to his body. And yes. Maybe. Yeah. Him. I spied a papoostem to Chad's chest, and we That's took right. him on a nice market day. Um, is he still there? So we left him with Napna in That's Keld, right. and He's we made the... Napna the mayor of Keld, and we took yeah. over several pubs. And we also then went to Suttonshaw and turned Nicky Knuckles' place into a piss pub chain and put yes. a homeless man in charge of it. You did. <laughs> you did. Absolutely did that, yes. And Sebastian Standles is actually the deputy mayor of Keld. Yes. Wow, We've I've achieved. We've achieved like... so much more than I thought. Yeah, well, all this I, time, we've not been doing We've achieved. We've been so And also, you've been, the, or committed. You've been busy, <laughs> is what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing the side missions. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would like to blame this brief amnesia that we all experienced on the fact that we went to that woman's house that I burned down accidentally. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was because of, she told us that the cult of Asmodeus were the people that the Scottish ship seven and right. uh, our not Triforce, Triforce Nexuses, um, right. and the people who paid or organized Professor's Fine to die. Mm -hmm. um, so when we went and saw the, fa the hot fascist woman and she was doing deals with the devil, that's yeah. all the same shit. We just yeah. forgot. Yeah, that's um, all connected. Alice, I really like the thought of you like laying in bed one night. That's your sandals. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I have forgotten about Sebastian. I know what he's doing. Um, that's crazy. Thanks. Yeah, so that's a little recap on the most insane things that we've forgotten. There's, there's more. Can we, can I think. We oh, there's, those, there's a lot more. Can we add all those to Iris? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as yeah, like the Tim's face just dropped. Like doing a deep dive every four years. <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
Uh, if you want to add it to Iris, you can add yeah, it to Iris. Yeah, Iris. Okay. In, yeah. Iris, can you tell us how how many days have passed since we since Pip beat up the wrestling people and got us to the got Goliath twins that rule the Shannon? Wrestling people. <clears throat> it has Banana been, Joel can it's know, going forty eight days since you last beat up. We should probably call them then because we meant to meet them in like thirty days. <coughs> what were we meant to do in 30 days? Just meet up with them? Uh, meet up with the entire army of the combined might of the Shaman to take on the uh, dead army that were mm -hmm. facing them. We're only so if we didn't do that, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if we didn't do that, then I, th I think that's probably, it's probably done. I think it's, it's not. Really <laughs> days, yeah. You spent a full <laughs> 10 day just after uh, Sutton Shore just milling around doing the whole... Um, that fair <laughs> at the beginning of the <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you just did 10 days. Like, no, not at the fair, but 10 days. Just uh, you had some vacay, vacay time. But you know, when, like, when you <laughs> add something to your to do list at work, and then like it, like two weeks later, no one's like reminded you about it, you don't actually have to do it anymore. No, yeah, it's nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that's been absorbed into the universe. Yeah, into the can, we, can we send a voice note? Can we send a voice? We can send a voice note through Iris to them, right? Iris yeah, can't story, send story messages oh, no. to other people. Did we oh, leave him with Tony Tony? We've got uh, Galder's Speedy Courier. Which yeah, let's do that. Things too. Mm -hmm. Just tell uh, them that we had severe amnesia and we tried <laughs> to remember them, which ended in another murdering banana farmers. But we were so close to being on like what we were trying to remember. <laughs> we really remembered the banana part. Just <laughs> um, okay. so, say so we're off to see Speedy Courier. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll be with them in a little bit. Well, it carries running, an running, empty late. Chest. Running, running late. We'll be we'll be there soon. Well, so it carries <laughs> an open empty chest whose interior dimensions are three feet on each side. Uh -huh. uh, we can deposit as many items in the chest as will fit. Mm -hmm. um, we can name the creature that carries it. Yep. Um, name him. Sorry. I O U. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, put... sorry, running late. Put one of the zombies. Sorry, running late? No, he's just on time. We sent him just now. Wait, if oh, we yeah. Put the zombies sorry out. about this. What's his name? I'm DPD. Which one? I was supposed to DPD? be here two, three weeks ago. <laughs> PDP. Uh, what? So let's, we'll put a note in there that just says, sorry, running late, <laughs> IOU, call if urgent. <laughs> Put in one of okay. the, put one of the hands. Put put a zombie hand in as well. So it looks like we're fighting zombies. <laughs> Which is the thing that we told them we'd come help them do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we oh, other zombies to fight. <laughs> yeah. Um, can they write back to us with the with the courier? <laughs> if we leave them a note, if we leave them a pen and paper. How uh, are you? As soon as the lid of the chest is closed, the elemental and chest disappear, then reappear adjacent to the target creature. The target creature is on another plane or is proofed against magical detection or location. The contents of the chest reappear on the ground at your feet. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say There's they no return have message. No. Presumably right. they, they have to have their own way of getting back in touch with you. Uh, yeah, when the spell expires or when all contents of the chest have been removed, the elemental and the chest disappear. Um, does anybody have a stony Tony on them? We could put so one in. Put there. that in the chat. We, we, have, we only have in. one because one of them is with the Contessa, who's um, now our mortal enemy. Where's she? Where's <laughs> yeah. she? Why did we give she, it to her? Is she a number she didn't know it at the time. Wasn't ours. She had one and then she gave us one because she told us we could call her and say, We need your army. And then not only was that not true, but she was trying to murder us with a, with a hole in her butt. Is she in Lumbergast? We're asking Alice. Yeah. She's still alive. Mm -hmm. I, we don't know. Can we, can we prank call her? We just nodded, so yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, what, where is she? she? She was in the fortress fighting off the zombie people. Let's call her. <laughs> I don't remember who she is or what we've done to her. It's just like, oh, what's this we So give... we went to her house because. <laughs> can we give it a buzz? We went to her house because the woman that's inside, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> that whole like house <laughs> was like she's like she was her sister or something. Yep. 
<laughs> Alice, you sound insane. <laughs> yeah. Remblings of a madman. <laughs> yeah, so she's got this ring on her bedroom wall, by the way. <laughs> it's like string all over the <laughs> What does it mean? At the, at the center of it is friendly boys. <laughs> yeah, question mark. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, Contessa is, uh, yeah, the related to that. They were basically like vampires. They're undead, like pro undead. They were not, they were pacifists. That's what Arrowhead was. And they were trying to like uh, rehabilitate uh, people vampires. who were undead. They were vegan vampires, yeah. Um, it was also in that house, is where Josh, aka Carter, saw an old painting that had him in it. Oh yeah! I remember that. Let's see, there's even yeah. more. I need to write. <laughs> Add more yeah. pins. Add more pins. <laughs> Carter, <laughs> old question mark. <laughs> um. So we went to the fortress to meet this woman's sister, and then Annie woke up with a dead person, yep. and thought that we all Annie wasn't there. We all thought she'd done it, and so we had the spider eat it, and then we were like really freaked out that we were going to get <laughs> arrested for being murderers. So we just agreed to whatever she wanted. And she had us bring this chest full of armor to Hobgoblins. And then when we opened it, there was a massive black hole. I do then, remember. That's right. That, and then we almost like ended not not just our campaign, but every campaign. Every, in, in the yeah, world. All the campaigns I was running. <laughs> because um, yes. I tried to put it inside a bag of holding. Which is a horrific no-no. Yeah. And I think it just got sucked in. I, was, I don't know what Tim rolled, but it, it, did, it didn't end. And then we managed to remove the objects that were making it bigger, but we just left it there. And we were we we now have a box that we can put it inside. And we were gonna find out one of her general's names, have it be sent to her as like this is an important message about mm. whatever she's fighting. And then she opens the box and she gets black hold. But That's, we never went back. We got distracted with bananas. Right, but. To be all credit to us, that sounds like a really good plan. Oh, it was a really good plan, yeah. Really good plan. And she is on our level. We do have to go back <laughs> and murder her. But Sebastian Sandals worked for her, and we were being really bitchy to him. But then when we went to meet her, she was even bitchier to him. So we yeah. were like, hey, don't talk to him like that. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, no. <laughs> she bitch. told us we could keep him. She even told us that Annie could eat him if she wanted to. So we just adopted him as our child. <laughs> was he was he the one with us when we went flying? Yes. Yeah. 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 And, uh, he was the one with us. Yeah, and uh, Chad he strapped him to his chest, and he was just screaming the entire time. He drew it. There's a picture of it. There yeah. is a picture of it. There is a picture of it. Yeah. It's because we we split up, and Pip and Pa went to a pet shop and murdered the owner and stole the pet food, right. while Annie yeah. went to a piss pub, the original piss pub, and the found a copy of Dragonborn. And me and Chad. That was a dragon's perch <laughs> in Chatham. Took our like adopted child out on a market day. And oh, yeah, he became our child. Do you remember? Yeah. You <laughs> had child. to hold his hand. We had to hold his hand. <laughs> Good times, right. eh? Good times. Good times. I feel like I'm going insane. You sound like you're going insane. Yeah. How do you remember all this? Because I rolled the tapes. That's why I was like, what? Was what? <laughs> because I rolled the tapes. <laughs> Any of you have got that power to roll the tape, you just haven't ever used it. That is also an insane way to describe it. Because I rolled the tapes. <laughs> I, I, rolled the tapes. Yeah. I rolled the tapes. <laughs> As, do you know how many hours there are of you rolling the tape? Um, yeah, I didn't roll all of them, I just rolled some. Can, can and that's we... why it's so sporadic and it's just bits and stuff. I don't make any sense. And this? And this? <laughs> I just want to say to it... Teagle Tron in the chat, um, I am very proud. <laughs> I only have Alice though because we don't remember anything. <laughs> Some of you are like are recalling it like like a sense memory. It's like coming back. Keep going, but I feel like yeah. we'll be distracted from our current quests. Forget all of the things that we can do. We right program now. like main objectives and side quests in the Iris. Yeah, that's what it's literally that's why I invented it. Oh, is that yeah. what we asked you? Like, you yeah, like for your stuff, and then I will type <laughs> it in me for you. <laughs> Didn't we only remember Iris like two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. Or last week. Also, well, the only reminder, that... the only reminder on Iris is to tell Chad that he's a loser, right? Yeah, yeah. We're and really last week. Because I was there are a few. There's, there's a new one. Yeah. There's a new one. Yeah. Would you like to hear oh. all of them? Yeah. 
Yes. Josh okay. has to be nice to my pet every. That's, that's one. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause you've got you've got a real like badass. You've got a new one pet now. She's got she's got an epic epic pet, but he is but he is oh, not. He doesn't sound anything like his voice. He's a, a saber tooth tiger, but with a rhino horn. Um, but he's kind of weird looking, and Josh was instantly really mean to him. And he's got a really weak voice. Um, and <laughs> he's, he's like, a weak man. He's, he's a weak man. Right. He's very all weak. I said was, weak all, I said was, uh, all I did was call him Horny Cat, right? Horny no, cat. you said no. he looked like a class. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. You landed oh. on that, but at the beginning, you were just you were pretty aggressive. You went after on him pretty quickly. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, you have to but without getting into it, because I realise we are at nine. Sorry, <laughs> everyone. I do realise it. No, 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 this no, is it's, great. It's, it's good. Sorry, sorry, it's been chat, a really, sorry. really nice, um, like wander down memory lane. But I won't <laughs> take up more time by just going through the whole rigmarole of being Iris. Uh, but you've got a reminder about the sphere of annihilation to exonerate yourself in Sutton Shore, so you can destroy the Dracolich. Uh, find a brown house, house spider mate for Francis. <laughs> Uh, that has a protrusion. And we got that on there, but we is, got on the Yeah. And number four, yeah, you don't know that. Uh, and number four is part of to be friendly Popeye. This is set to remind you every four minutes. Every four Maybe minutes, four you'll get reminded. Yeah. Can, we, can we categorize them with you as main inside? Uh, yeah, there's one reminder in four quests. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can, you right. can delineate them however you want. Well, can we add Lumbergas to this? Because I want to know how it. False. Also, don't get sidetracked from going from here. Yeah, I think uh, Pip can help us because Pip's a really good tracker. Basically, Keld, no, yeah, Blackmire, sorry, is overrun with gnolls, like like Keld was. And we need to go hunt them down and murder all of them forever. Yeah. And so you could probably help us find them. But we think they're in the Lumbergoss direction um, okay. because it's that, it's that way. Yeah, you rolled Ace of Old Check last session and you're like, oh, that's the direction of Lumbergoss. It's a null house party. Um, but whilst I remember Iris, <laughs> please also ask uh, return to the banana round which was and, and really apologize for forgetting that they exist, even though it's the most yeah. important we've ever had. You sent you sent a message, that's the main thing, right? During this oh. whole like recap, I guess um <coughs> Chad has sent off your messenger with yep. the crate with a little note inside it. Uh, so you get through to your head, Chad. A message? Sending spell? Hello. This is uh, one of the Terralocan twins. I hope you are okay. We missed you in your rendezvous. <coughs> uh, Astrakhan has been taken and is now in charge of undead man we are hiding in oh. Thunderdark. And that's it. Well, they're still alive. Okay, we should we promise to help them in a certain amount of days and actually do it this time to redeem ourselves? Can I? Is this a two-way street, or is, did I just? You can reply with twenty-five words. Yeah. Oh. oh, help me! Help me! <laughs> help me! I'm gonna waste all talking. time. Stop talking! Um, <laughs> help, help, help me! Help me! Help me. First, I'm going oh, to. First, so how many days do we want to say? How many should we say? Like ten, uh, ten you, days. You have six how seconds to reply. Okay, so we, we'll find you. you we will find you in 10 days. We be back in 10 days. Till then. Sit. We like, like Gandalf. Yeah. Like, just wait till the. Like the, Gandalf. Yeah. Just wait until. The, <laughs> no, love Chad. Love Chad. <laughs> love Chad. 25. Perfect. Yeah. The most chaotic we've ever had. Like, who's Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sent by yeah. AR. Love Chad. <laughs> Problem solved. But another one done. That's a Iris. Iris? Um, Iris, can you remember us in, in remind us in five days to go? Mind uh, yeah. And then can you remind us in eight days to go? And then remind us on in ten days to five. go. And then remind <laughs> us on the eleventh day that we five, have a <laughs> ten and eleven. Good good shouts. To go <laughs> to Thunderdark for Tara Knuckle Twins. In, um, in like less less than a minute, can you tell me who those twins are? So they're the, the they're Goliaths that are mm -hmm. brother and sister 
and also king and queen, so a bit incestuous. That it's rule not the it is. I think it is. Wait, so. wait, wait. That's what that's the bad guys picking up. They rule they rule the shaman. They will wait, answer wait. any question, but you have to wrestle. And so the for some reason this sound <laughs> isn't yeah. the shaggy mounts. <laughs> the incest <laughs> twin rulers of the shagamounts. And, um, <laughs> and for some reason it works that Pip Pip beat people up so that I could negotiate, which is the most backwards way. It doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound like the way that it should work, but that's what happened. And they answered, we basically said, we need your help. And they were like, okay, we'll gather all of the tribes. Uh, it'll take us like 30 days or so. And then we'll go, we'll go after them and we'll meet you then. And they, they gave us one teleport, which we used to go save Nap Nap because he'd sent us hundreds of messages and Pip deleted them. And so we were really worried about him. And then we got there and, and everything was on fire, like, like Black Myra is now. And so then we got amnesia and forgot it all. Yep. So long and short of it. But we so, remember now. Yeah. So you've programmed Iris for it. <laughs> um, sent off your missive. So you mark that spell off. Yep. Now it's up to it's you. You're now, you're now all inside so, um, mayor, uh, the mayor's domicile. Uh, you've taken all the piss and you've left for London. <laughs> what do we do with the piss? You've, you're carrying it. It's barrels like, strapped to um, Chad's back. Why? Why? Oh, no. Because we wanted to, we wanted to throw it at the gnolls as revenge for all. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's, 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 it's it's Is there are there lids? <laughs> so what did you say? Are there lids? <laughs> yes, yes, we chose the, we the lids. Yeah. Cool. We Good. chose yeah, the right. lids. On our way to Lumberjacks okay. um, to cover them in. Tim. Yep. Um. Oh, never mind. Ignore me for now. Sorry. Oh, can can that rant count as uh, inspiring leader feat and give everyone eighteen temporary hit points? I'm going to say yes. That is more, that's well more than enough to yeah do that inspiring leader feat that you have. And everyone gets everybody of their ten, 10 temporary hit points. Thank you. Have we it's had a long really rest great. since the last time? Yes, you can hit long rest. Yeah. <clears throat> How do we do temporary? Oh no, right, right sorry. Yes, there is a little temporary and, and sort of adjacent towards your normal <laughs> ones. <Thank> okay. <clears throat> so, um, I wouldn't make you roll anything. You don't need to um, navigate your way. You've been to Lombagos before. It's also quite a rural area, so there are only very fair few thoroughfares that go from village to village. So it's a very well worn track that kind of meanders and follows the stream of a river that goes north that you can follow towards the town called Lumbergost. The man Lumbergost. The man called Lumbergost. Now, how do you approach the man slash town known as Lumbergost? I think we should be singing. Skip it. Oh, <laughs> Skip I don't know. Singing. Do okay, that. sure. I don't okay, know. Not with, yeah. not with um, piss in our back. Yeah. <laughs> not with piss in our back. <laughs> We should be rolling the piss barrels and seeing who can balance on them the longest. Who can get covered in piss the least? Uh, I would like to minimize the piss on my back. Just, you know, <laughs> roll out the barrel. Um, As, okay, so you said there's like a well worn trip. Sorry. No, right. no, go on. Well, that was it. Um, like you had probably a much better idea than I did. No, I was just going to ask Pip, can you, do you, do you sense gnolls as you're tracking? Um, can you see gnoll tracks? Should I turn on my gnoll sensor? Uh, roll a survival check, please, Ellie. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. And you wanted to go skipping in. <laughs> We're still doing that, right? Yeah, with this. Um, well, was it a survival? Armin. Survival, yes. Okay, I rolled a two, but I have plus 15, so seven. Yeah, yeah easy, 15. 17, no problem at all. Um, yeah, you, you've, you, with a 17, you discern, yes, you see null tracks, but actually... These knoll tracks look a little bit different from knoll tracks you've seen in the past in Keld or around the general area. They're a little bit more misshapen, a little bit more inconsistent with their um, configuration. So, like one paw print will be almost normal, and another one would be kind of almost like a half print, and there's like a sharp, jagged edges to it. Almost is like it... the paw print is like. 
uneven or irregular in some fashion. Is it like when people used to steal sheep, so they used to put sheep feet onto their feet out of wood, and then no, you still believe this is a. It still is consistent with like the weight and pressure of a knoll and the gait, like the spacing of their tracks. Uh, it's more these knolls are different in some way. They're mutated or otherwise affected by something that has altered their being. Did oh wait the, the Starbucks were in Lumbergast right? They were, but then they got the sh the scholarship people took them and sold them to the pirate. Okay, something that we left there. That's a good thing. Thumbs. Good. Thumbs. We left thumbs. A thumbless we man. Left. We okay, didn't leave the thumbs. Took the thumbs with us. We left them on yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, <laughs> do can you? T is it just one path that they go on, or is there like woods and sneaky ways? <laughs> You could go a sneaky way if you wanted to, yes. But do they do they go in sneaky ways? No. Or do they come in in one way? One way. Okay. Let's go down the sneaky way. Okay. But skipping. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no stealth check, I guess. You're just skipping through the woods. No, I'm joking. So it takes you I'm longer. joking. We're playing, the, we're playing the Silence in the Courtyard, Silence in the Street okay. game. Um, and whoever speaks first is a giant loser. Okay, in that case, everybody roll stealth check then, please. I'm really bad. Stealth, 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 is I'll Sebastian Stingle still with us? Or is he with no, no Sebastian is, is the deputy mayor. He's the deputy Kells. mayor of New Kells. New Kells. New, Kells. Yeah. New Old Kells. Uh, the, your puppy of ill omen and Bando the monkey still there? Mm hmm But they didn't have to roll stealth. Um, he rolled an eight, but I don't know how to... B is plus his dex so yeah. Ten. Ten, okay. And how about Josh? What about what is what a part again? Is that wrong? 14. 14. Lovely. No, 15. 15. 15. 15. Oh, 15. Made a difference, but I felt like it did. Uh, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll say an aggregate, uh, but I think you pass as a party. Like those who didn't quite meet the requirements <laughs> are covered by those that do. And you do approach um, the former settlement of Lumbergost relatively subtly. I'd like now to take the opportunity to talk to Aya regarding the equipment that she's acquired that she started to attune to. Um, there are several bits and pieces that um, that you have been kind of studying and equipping, mm -hmm. um, which you can now, if you wish to, uh, change into. I we I did because remember I took all my clothes off in front of everyone and we started touching each That's other. That's true. Um, it's it's taken a um, little while to attune to it. Um, do I need any clarity on that? <laughs> That's you, you, you need a uh, wisdom really? saving throw. You always miss out. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Not again. Um, so I mean, the majority of it is just like you equipping things. Um, I'll give you like an aesthetic kind of rundown of what it is. I see that you've equipped everything. Yeah, I did immediately, sorry. Immediately. <laughs> um, so the Aegis of Umbral Resilience, you've taken off your chainmail and you've put on this full set of plate, which is mm -hmm. um, uh, like this iridescent, almost crystalline, reflective plate mail that the Imperionatrix was wearing, um, <laughs> which also has these kind of almost like um, hatches or vents in the back. That your wings can come out of. Cool. Um, Dan itself has like multiple uses to it. Um, but the chief one is that whilst wearing this armor, any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. So you yeah, cannot be cool. crit against it now. But like this cool. this meteorite meteorite armor absorbs critical hits. And also when you're subjected to magical effects that allow you to make a strength or con saving throw, you only take half damage. 
on a fail and no damage if you succeed. Nice. So it's very, very resilient. It's made of this like super dense um, meteorite material. Um, your belt of stellar strength, much to Chad's uh, umbrage, uh, gives you a strength score now of 23. I also uh, uh, remembered that I am six uh, foot six and he's six foot five. That's so correct. Yeah. I just wanted to remind everyone of that. I've anyway, got a, I've got a two strength, which is pretty close. <laughs> That's pretty good. You both have <laughs> six. But pretty close. Technically, she's slightly stronger than you. Technically, it has no actual mechanical effect. Yeah, but technicality is. But she's one inch taller and she's one point strength stronger than you. I'm going to uh, find some heels. Okay. <laughs> you already uh, have my boob armor. So that makes you look a little bit bigger than you are. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it puts your. Well, I mean, lizards have no memory glands of any kind, so it's just meat, I guess, gets pushed together. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. uh, that's your belt of stir strength. Um, you also have uh, a ring of divine radiance, which um, increases uh, your uh, effectiveness of your spells. Gives you a plus oh, one cool. to your DC and plus one to your attacks for <clears throat> your spells. That's exciting. Um, you have this Sanctum Tower Shield, which is almost the height of you. You know, those big Roman shields they have that are kind of curved. It's so huge. Chad's height. If it's yes. almost as tall as so it's Chad's it's height. Almost, yeah, it's Chad's height, yeah. Almost <laughs> as, uh, as, as tall yeah. as Chad. I'm gonna um, it is this huge thing kind of wrapped around you. It's almost about, four foot wide maybe. And about six feet tall. Um, and you can plant it in the ground and it it um, resonates with you so when you as you get um, more attuned with your paladin spell uh, or your paladin um, vocation it will level up with you at the moment it's got a third level um, feature which is called intervene as a reaction um, to an enemy attacking an ally of yours you become a beam of light and teleport up to 30 feet in a space adjacent so cool. to the ally and in melee range with the attacker. Doing so, you can add your shield's AC bonus, which is plus three, to the ally's AC against the incoming attack. Tim, you know how... Because I already have a thing that if someone gets attacked near me, I yeah. can use That's an attack sensible. as an action. Can, yeah. Do I have to use one or the other? Uh, like, no, it, this, this is... So Sentinel is for someone that you're already next to, and yeah. your intervene is for someone that's away from you. Okay. So you've now got um, both. Awesome. Yeah, they, they, they went over. I can't each other. use them both. Like, I couldn't go travel next to them and then also attack them. I'd have to do one or the other. It, would be, uh, it wouldn't be a case of choosing one another. They just do separate things. But, so it, I could do both? Yes, you like could do technically both. Okay, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Um, and also, the ally also gets temporary hit points equal to charisma modifier plus your AC of shield until the start of your next turn. So that would be plus eight to their uh, temporary hit points when you really teleport cool. next to them. Okay. Um, at seventh level, you, you can also condemn someone. Once per turn, when an enemy misses you with a melee a weapon attack, the shield gets a charge of condemnation. When the shield reaches four charges, the next melee attack that misses you triggers a beam of blinding light, which originates from the shield. The attacker must make a constitution saving throw against you or be blinded at the end of the next turn. And then the charges shields are consumed and you just charges back up again. So every time you get attacked, it charges the shield up and it blinds them every four hits and then charges back up again. I really like this hot fascist woman's clothes. Yeah. Can I ask <laughs> yeah. what, the, what does the breast armor that I got do? <laughs> breast armor? Just asking for a friend. It looks like um I think it actually it does stuff some no no. No, it's not. It's just chain mail. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just regular chain mail. <laughs> it just makes you less stealthy than you would be without it. Yeah, it affects yourself. <laughs> cool. But it does make you like 4.5% hotter. So. True. Yeah, mm. true. Whereas mm. I am uh, ch- like 50 times hotter. So. Yeah. 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 So, Chad, you're wearing a chain mail bikini. I'm pretty happy with this outcome. <laughs> All things considered. Uh, yeah. It didn't help me when I got shot with a bunch of arrows, though. Yeah, I mean, it went all around your boob armor. Oh. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. Also, Cleo Cl- um, Spoopy says, and Chad is 50 years old and smells. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Oh, we all right. forgot about that. No, we never forget about that. Chad has 10 years left to live and smells. 
Um, <laughs> oh no! You don't. You did. You did have an adopted ghost child that you found in the woods that you fed from your mouth called Mildred. Yes, <laughs> I don't sure. know what happened. What? Tim might know what happened. Yes, yeah. child. Mildred fed yeah. from your yeah. mouth. Mildred, yeah. You fed her like a baby bird. In my mouth. I don't remember this one. <laughs> I think you put like fruit in your mouth and you just puked up into her mouth, into her exactly mouth. And she wasn't because super into it. Pip was trying to warn us all not to touch other people because she knew. And you yes. had your role that, that day was that you were super immature. And so you were like, uh, I can touch whoever I want. I'm going to go touch myself. And you went into the woods to touch yourself and you found this little ghost child. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> oh, Anytime I, I say any of it, I sound like an absolute insane. You just uh, lunatic. But also, <laughs> it does make more sense now as to why we've not got anything done because shit <laughs> like this keeps happening to us. Not on your shoulders, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> no, I will go to touch myself. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one to, last thing that you've attuned to is the flail of celestial judgment, which is your regular uh, flail. Which has now yeah. started to reconfigure itself. Yeah. And now has multiple um configurations that it can do depending on the buttons you can now press on it. So it, it can become a sword of of uh hellish light, it could become a spear, a battle axe, it'll become a ladder if you want it to become a ladder. <laughs> That's handy. It's very handy. Don't forget. Um, don't Did you forget, have to spin it? Forget. Yeah. So it become a flame tongue sword. It can become a um, battle axe. It become a spear. It can also tr uh, climb, uh, transform into a climbing pole. Transform into a battering ram as well. That feels useful. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and a. It can also uh, find magnetic north. That's Compass. great. <laughs> like we've ever paid attention to that, but that's mm. great. Um, <laughs> Also, it can drain life, it can paralyze people, it can terrify people, and also um, hitting the same target creature three consecutive times in a row, if you chant in Celestial, Power Word Stun, on the next successful hit within one minute, will cast the spell Power Word Stun on the target, which is an eighth level spell. I just have to say it. Yeah, you just say Power Word Stun, as long as you hit that same target three times in a row. Power Word, power word Stun, stun did you say? Power Word Stun in Celestial. Okay, that's sure. Why did you start with it becomes a ladder? It drains <laughs> the life out of people. <laughs> yeah. It comes up and he'll terrifies them and paralyzes them and uh, can it's stun them. But also a ladder and a battering ram. We will almost right. definitely use that ladder a thousand more times. More, more than any other. Yeah, it is way so more useful as a ladder. <laughs> We're going to use the ladder as a battering ram. Also, we have a tiny little boat that folds up into a thing uh, and we didn't use it. A 12 inch by 6 inch by 6 inch box. Oh, yeah. And we were yes. like, you know what? Let's We've used it once, haven't we? I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it in our bag of holding? No, uh, it oh, was yeah, in yeah. one Sorry. person. We also went through the things that didn't go into the bag of holding, like Iris. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So we do so. still have it. I don't know who owns it. We did lose a lot of art that we found on a boat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was expensive shit too. Oh, yeah, sorry. that was really expensive shit. That was the stuff that you found on Sally's ruin, which was yeah. the. Uh... We did also leave thousands of gold in under that man's bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's well, looking fine. after it. Yeah. We should go and get some of that. I mean, to be fair, when have we ever needed money? We just take. We never really spent money. We yeah. just true. force our way in or use our ladders to climb over the wall. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> We spent so long figuring out how we were going to get across the water, and we had a boat. We had a boat <laughs> in yeah. our bag. <laughs> we'll be if only there. we had some kind of collapsible boat that we carried around with us at all times. <laughs> Is there? Wait, hold on. Is Lumbergas surrounded by water by chance? <laughs> it's got it's a. It's got a big river running through it. Yes. We should go on a boat. Is there also it? big walls? Yeah, but we lost it. <laughs> So um, the, 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 around Lumbergos, there is a palisade which is made of wood. So, yes, so walls and rivers, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Seems like our kind of place. And <laughs> you are uniquely <laughs> geared up. There is a there's a door as well if you want to use your mm -hmm. battering ram. Um, and are there so thank you for taking me through on it. So after all He's of that cool shit that Tim's just talked through, we're just going to use ladder, right? Yeah. yeah. 
We're gonna knock on the door. Epic. What door? Are you? <laughs> no. We're sneaking in. No, we're sneaking. Oh. The door to what? Yeah. <laughs> With our sneakers. Lumbergost, the man. Lumbergost has a door. We're gonna knock his doors yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a power <laughs> that goes all around it. Uh, I didn't know what that was. It's like a. Um, it's it's like a. It's about ten feet tall, and it's just logs that have been sharpened to a point. And there is a platform, a scaffolding around the inside, <laughs> where um, patrols can uh, walk around. Yeah. Let's use our ladder. We can definitely yeah, need to jump. This whole thing. But uh, when you get there, it's very evident. Um, and you remember last time you were here that you detonated the big circus that was here and killed a lot of people. And mm. in so doing, has destroyed like a lot of the exterior palisades. So there are gaps in the walls all over the place. Okay. That you all can sneak inside. Sucked, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Thought so. Does, an, does anyone this... here remember that we blew up their circus? I don't remember. Is that where I brought? I think that was my first one. That was when Majority, yeah, Kieran, he was here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I remember. Then we had a big was... giant dragon. That's correct. Mm. Well, was this... was yeah. someone yeah. with the. A high draconic. Yeah, That's with multiple one. heads. And I was Johnny, like, was someone the father get... and did... son? Meat boy. Uh, well, he ended up calling yeah. him daddy, and then Johnny was very uncomfortable <laughs> with me doing flesh, that. Flesh boy. <laughs> flesh boy and his flesh daddy. Yeah. Flesh that's right. daddy. <laughs> Uh, was someone father and son here? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> that was the most PG way you could have put that. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was Johnny's son for a little while. Is it? Or is I it was night? living my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Time or nighttime now, Flesh Boy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you all, um, you no, all have done a group stealth check and you have all snuck up to uh, the city. Settlement of Lumberglost, and you've looked inside, and no one. It's relatively deserted in here. Uh, it is. It looks pretty ruined. If I'm honest with you. I like that you asked one genuine question, and Tim's like, "Well, they can't possibly be being serious right now." That can't be a real thing. That can't be a real Sorry, thing. what was the question you said? Is is it daytime or nighttime, Flesh Boy? Oh, uh, it is uh, about two thirty p.m. Okay. Is it You've got a fun? good four hours of light? It is raining. Oh, heavily. see. Does Alice's new sword become an umbrella? It's one of the few things that her new sword <laughs> cannot do. <laughs> well, she's not that cool, then, is she? Uh, I guess yeah. Not. <laughs> Loser. Can't do you this, Chad's pad. You know, uh, that's what I was going to say. You guys <laughs> yeah. want an umbrella? Yeah. <laughs> not that cool. Do you guys want an umbrella that you can't move? Mm. So you use up a really high level slot. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? I was, think, I was thinking of your floating disc being an hour. Oh being yeah, tens of floating disc actually would provide you with a certain amount of um, rain protection. True. Well, of course, well, 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 <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> yeah, <you do>. <laughs> <laughs> just in the mud slowly. <laughs> well, well, well. Did we get in yet? No. Yes. We just You're at the palisades and you've me. seen that there some of the palisades have been broken. You can step inside if you want to. I'm going to transition good. everybody to the map now. So oh, on your character done. sheets, you can press the little play button that's on there. Day. Day. Play. Oh, Ooh, that's new. Where's the, where's the play button? So if you go on your character sheet in the top right hand corner, there'll be a little play icon. That's neat. Oh. It says, wait for me to select a map. This is fun. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm doing it now. So it should be done momentarily. It says loading map. Map, there you go. Should be available to you now. Play. Cool. Yeah. There it is. Nose. See them. Yeah. Um, bear with my laptop might explode. Okay. We're right at the top. Oh, there's a bunch of gnolls. Who's a bunch of gnolls? <coughs> That is a That's good Gurkak. question to ask. That's Gurkak. 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 
I bet What's he doesn't have an umbrella. Sorry, Tim. Stop moving, Gurkha. <laughs> Somebody on X. around. Get your hands on us. Get your hands on us. <laughs> Get your hands on. Get back to me now. Just sitting there. See Liz's hands off my nose. <laughs> Who's moving Gurkak now? That's <laughs> not me. It was me. Gosh. Great. I'll put him back. <laughs> oh, dear. So, anyway, you enter the remnants of once was uh, Lumbergost um, under uh, the cover of rain stealthily. And you hear um, these knolls that are apparently stacked on one another like a totem pole. <laughs> I will take your privileges away. <laughs> no, no, our privileges don't. <laughs> yeah, check your privileges. Um, uh, so as you approach, uh, this place is pretty well destroyed from last time you were here. There are pockets of explosions that have happened. There's the remnants of like a deep, soiled and sodden um, big top. That has been covered in mud, not soil as old as in someone's pooped on it, but soil as <laughs> it's, it's got mud and debris on it. Um, now the gnolls are playing hide and seek. Now the gnolls are playing hide and seek. Right? Thanks, part. Um, but I'm you do hear a speech. Um, mm -hmm. The gnolls that you see through the rain, your vision is somewhat obfuscated by the intense downpour, but they don't look like the gnolls you've encountered before and killed in other places. Um, mm. Some of them have got like the flesh peeled off of their skin. You can see the bone underneath. Um, some of them are missing like a, an arm. You can see the rib cage. These look like very much like undead gnolls. There's uh, one of them in particular looks a little bit more constituted than the rest, um, but has a maw covered in blood and just salivating, um, just thick, viscous. You say uh, that they look undead, blood. like zombie yes. gnolls. Correct, they do. Okay. Interesting. Damn. Uh, it's over to you what you'd like to do right now. What's his name? Gurkak. Gurkak. Well, I mean, you don't know, but yeah, Gurkak is his name. He looks like a Gurkak. <laughs> he smells like a Gurkak. <laughs> looks, looks like, like a Gurkak. I can't believe it's not Gurkak. <laughs> 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 Uh, How far are we away from them? Sorry, you told us this. Uh, Pip is the closest, and Pip is currently uh, fifty-three feet away from the closest knoll. I, okay. I, uh, I just, I would like to just march on in there, but before I do that, do we have any smart stealthy well, plans? Yeah, there might be a bunch of Gurkaks behind this Gurkak. Yeah, possibly. Uh, like, like Tim shared the map and chat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a big Jack space. Can. Chat can, chat can yeah. see. There might be a lot more gnolls here than these guys, so I feel like maybe we try to stealthily take these guys out and get away the lands. What if we very good at any of that? What if we cause a commotion on the other side and then see how many come out of hiding? Well, okay. Can we see if they like meat? Not my meat. Somebody else's meat. <laughs> <laughs> See if they Good like question. someone else's meat. <laughs> no, they like. All of you roll an arcana check. Uh oh. Ooh. Twenty-two. No. Nice. Um, eighteen. Nice. Uh, six. Four. Six and four. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. So Mike, uh, Chad, and Pip. It all looks like there's some kind of ceremony going on. Where they're all surrounding this kind of um, nook in this huge tree that has been felled and started to die and wither, there is a mound of flesh that they are all gathered around. Like one would gather around a bonfire at um, a bonfire night, there is a mound <laughs> of flesh that they're all gathered around. They they seem to be performing some kind of ritual. Um, this mound constitutes a whole bunch of stuff such as other gnolls um, and other humanoids that have all been piled upon one another and it almost looks like it's they've started to be dissolved so that they are just a mass of interconnected tendons and skin organs 
Is there? Wait, are they do eating, doing anything, or just doing a ritual? They seem to be doing a ritual. All of them together. Yes, all five no witherlings and Gurkak. Do you what, think they're what, trying to bring the pool of guts to life? Because I was, I was going to ask, like, can we, like, what does the ritual entail? Like, are they? Everybody can roll a religion check. Finally, the one. Oh, minus two. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen is good. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, good. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen also good. Seventeen. Seventeen, great. Cool. Josh. Uh, it was twelve. 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 So I think uh, Aya, Chad, and Pip. It very much looks like they are trying to raise some kind of and performing some kind of blasphemous ritual um, using this flesh as a triggering point um, but they haven't quite got they are repeating the ritual over and over again and who knows how long this has been going on for um, and they've obviously added a lot of corpses to it but they just don't, there's a certain something they don't have Kit. That is going to activate whatever they're trying to do. I think it's lizard flesh. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Lizard Chat, flesh. keep out of the way. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a barrel of piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't take it too close. Can, can, all all take you, it can all of you do a perception check with disadvantage? Unless you have advantage and then it's a flesh. I wrote a one. I do not have one. No, I, no. I got a 14. Got a four again. A four again. What was it? Perception. <laughs> yes, with disadvantage. So roll twice, hit uh, lowest. Eleven. 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 None of you see um, anything specific about what's going on because of the rain being down. You have got like a limited vision. Can do wait? Do we know if they're they're undead as is, except for yes. Yeah. And undead have hit points or no? They do. They do. I, I have turn on holy, but I have to be within thirty feet. Right. I was gonna. I, I can. Away. I can transform one of them into something, or polymorph them into something to see if they all attack it, just to see if they like attack living matter. And you also could... use that to see if there's like a bunch of them hidden on the other side of the tree, and if there's I like a also... hundred. Them send Popeye in as that. Oh, I mean, if you're willing to... When have I ever hesitated to send my pets into danger before? Mm, True. Yeah. And it might save them getting it on with Potter. <laughs> <laughs> also true. <laughs> we know how brave Popeye is, and so Popeye will be happy to oblige. Um, I mean, but that will pull us right into initiative. Do we want to get closer before we do that, in case they're on to us? I don't... I mean, we all didn't roll well enough on perception, but I don't think we're close enough for initiative. But that could be wrong. Should I just mean, like, if we send Popeye in and then they like realize they roll high and yeah. realize that, that, that Popeye was not the only one. Should, we, like, should, we, should we hide first? Like go up in the trees or something? You've got a ladder now. Are there tree houses? Also, just seeing the graffiti no. on the tree. Yeah. Huh. I, know about. I wonder where that came from. I don't know who did that. Anyone, anyone could have done that. <laughs> um, um, I, yeah, think we, I think we hide. Yeah. We hide and send Papa in? How close do you think we can get? I We're think we, whichever way we go, we should send Popeye in from the other way. Okay. So, but I don't think Popeye's going to... I mean, Popeye could, could go, like, over here. If we went over here, but I don't think Popeye can get over here without passing them and it looking like, do you know what I mean? I think we go over this way. Okay, then Popeye can stay right over here behind this rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's not said no, so let's do it. Okay. Said, okay. Sounds good. If, if no, you've, you've if passed we your, yeah, you've passed your, um, Self check. So you're still under the cover of rain. How um how close is that? 
from where you are. You, if you want to, you can use the little ruler um, okay. on the map to, to force oh, that. Oh, I, thank you. I and then you can drag one. like from the center of you to the center of what you're looking at. Wow. So the closest one is 42 feet. OK, so we still need to get closer to do anything. But we could do the Popeye test. Yeah, do the Popeye yeah. test while we hide and just see if, like, if they respond to organic matter, then we'll see if, like, more come out. Mm -hmm. What if they're waiting for organic matter and that m m turns the pool of goop into something that could kill us? Well, that's when we go into initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Who's changed the graffiti with people? Yeah. I don't know who would have done that. That's a terrible, <laughs> really clever graffiti. Who could have done that? Uh, um, <laughs> it's my art. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, is Popeye being aggressively obvious? Um, yeah, Popeye is going to come in, grab, so he's going to pretend that they're part of and go into a, like a male rage and um, and just go for their neck. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, it says from atop this bluff. Um, they do not respond and they <laughs> focus. It's obvious that they are aware that Popeye's there and is growling at them, and they don't stop worshipping the flesh mound. Okay, so we could probably go right up to them, and then I'm going to start worshipping the flesh mound. How far are we from it? From the from the flesh mound? A is the closest, and uh, oh, from the flesh mound itself, yeah, A is forty five feet from the flesh mound. Ooh. Um, is currently fifty nine feet. And po ha did Popeye get to like? Um, I don't know how to pick him up. If you go to the the last icon at the bottom, it's got a little man oh, in a circle. Click on that, and you can move. So did he get to like here? And they didn't give a shit. Unless Popeye attacks, they seem to ignore Popeye, although they are aware of him there. So we could probably. Just walk right up to them and start a fight, and could, they wouldn't pick up on it. Could we do? Could we do some sort of check to see if there's any more in the area? Like what? Yeah. I don't know what that check would be. Can Should Popeye I do a check? I, Popeye hmm. is quite close, and Popeye has the ability. It's like Popeye's not as stupid as it looks. Um, so, <laughs> and he has a keen <laughs> sense as well. Can he do it? Can he? Can he smell any more? Uh, yeah, roll a perception check with advantage. Smell. If you say he smells me, I'm going to be really mad. Smells eggs, it's weird. Nothing um, old lizard eggs. <laughs> Seventeen. So that's Popeye's smell sound. Um, <laughs> as he's performing a smell check, uh, he smells uh, lots of rot coming from the knoll. Uh, there's a lot of blood coming from Gurkak, and there's a lot of death and decay coming from the flesh as well. Okay. But nothing beyond that, other than the rotten eggs. Uh, no, no, not close enough to. Well, a little bit of sulfur coming from. Dad. Okay. Question. Question. Tim. Yes. Is is there anything? As <laughs> time goes by, that I become more attuned to my sex god. Is there anything that I can use or do with these? Undead, dead, undead gnolls. Um, so it'd be in your feats, your adherent. So if you click on those, if you go down to feats, like features and traits, on your character sheet, scroll down to feats at the bottom, and it'll have your feet. Your oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wow. Also, we're aware that um, uh, Khalil's dropped off temporarily. I'm sure he'll be back. With back. Oh, you're back. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, you, I, I need to add you back to the, because uh, you've changed your link. I'm just gonna but, do that. The face that you that you got frozen on, Khalil, was like. <gasps> right. You 
should be back for chat. There we go. I'm here. I'm here. Nice. 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 Job done. Right. Bill's back. Echo. So, um, he doesn't smell anything beyond other than Chad's rotten egg smell. He doesn't smell right. anything beyond the gnolls that are currently there. Uh, they the gnolls, the gurkak, and the flesh mound. And you. So, we could just start murdering them? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I... I would like to walk within, so they're all within 30 feet of me. So how close is that? Like, like there? All of them within 30 feet of you. Oh, it'd be close. But that was it? That's all of them? I'm so sorry. All, them, all of them being within, within 30 feet would be here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to be here then. Okay. When and you then, are... Well, when you are here, before you get there, the flesh mound um, starts to undulate oh, and God. pulsate. And from inside of it, like kind of crawling out from the flesh mound, is a face. A face with a steel skull cap. What? Oh. It's, it's Lumbergast! It's the man! It's fucking Lumbergast! It's the original Lumbergast! <laughs> I've been telling everybody. <laughs> He's the and worst. Look, and with, it, with it's like one bulbous <laughs> one eye and one smaller kind of squinted bloodshot eye looks over towards you, Aya, and the whole kind of flesh mound starts to move and shift under its own weight. And looks at you, Aya, and goes, I can't hear it. No. I can't hear it. No. It looks so no, dramatic. No. It looks so good. I, it looks so good. <laughs> I thought it was like, like, that was the thing. Like it yeah, like he's he just, he has no mouth, but he must scream. Turns out his vocal cords. I'm good. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so in it as well. I feel really bad. <laughs> no, no. I... This is what they were missing with the barrel of piss. Way more to make the vocal Okay, call. well, he says, "I am Lumbergast." <laughs> I hate this guy. And will now stand up. Everybody, roll initiative. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> Tim. You know, like in Batman, when Val Kilmer is like, "I am Batman," and no yeah. one's listening to him. <laughs> Can I interest you in the sandwich, sir? I'll get drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, yeah, please roll initiative. Um, nineteen for me and twelve for, and they said smash, but Popeye. Popeye. <laughs> 17 for Chad. Um, so you hang on to your initiative till I get there. One second. I don't know why my mic's not picking up my AI thing. <coughs> Two and <three. coughs> It's a much more epic thing than. <coughs> I mean, it looked, about it looked incredible. Four years in the making like, of you calling someone Lumbergost and then actually being a being called Lumbergost. <laughs> it was really I, dramatic. You didn't need the sound effect. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It was, uh... How did you guys know immediately? Uh, that completely passed me by until you said it's, it was Lumbergost. It's a fake helmet. <laughs> yeah. The we can't helmet tried to steal our Starbucks. <laughs> right at the beginning. I remember that after. <laughs> Smashed his head in with a flail, I think. But he not didn't... before he killed Chad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Gonna... Didn't make an impression in my brain. <laughs> um, so, Aya, what did you get? I got 19, and um, Popeye got 12. 12. Pip? Uh, 22. 22. Chad? Chad? 17. Nice. Carter? 13. 13, good. And Mike. 19. 19, nice. 
Okie dokie. Pip, you're up first. I didn't want to go first. Um, oh god, Lumbergas is huge and ugly. Ew. Oh yeah. Ew. Um, Whoa. He is the man of Lumbergas. Okay. Oh. Well, now that we have a map, I have to play this properly. I can't be like, I'm just going here. Do this. <laughs> um, what's my movement? <laughs> I believe your movement would be 30 feet. Okay, I'm going to go right here, which is roughly 30 feet. Yep. Um, and then what's my range of my long? <laughs> uh, enough. Enough. Enough, yeah. It's 150 um, feet or 600 disadvantage. Cool. So as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Hail of Thorns, my old reliable. Oh, reliable Hail of Thorns. Um, and then use my longbow to shoot um, the one that's closest to me, but not Gurkak. So Hail of Thorns has got a dexterity DC. I need to roll Lumbergost. His DC is something... Minus one. Great. Fails. I get him. Yes. So I need to roll. A. Creature within five feet must take dexterity and throw fails. It'll take an extra 1d10 piercing damage. I've done it at a fourth level, so it's 4d10. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so hold on. I'll roll my damage of my longbow first, which is 1d8 plus. Yep, 1d8 plus 4d10 oh. plus five. Which one's a D8? A D8. One. I don't know if this is going this to be one. any help to you. I'll just put this here. It's the one that looks like a pyramid on the pyramid. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Cool. Diamond in one the rough. Eight. Okay, so that's four <laughs> plus five. Cool. That's and nine. Then, and then four D10. Ten. Yeah. So six. That's four. 15. And 19. Nine. Ooh, uh, 28. Eight. A 36. 36 points of that was only three rolls. One more. Eight. That is uh, 44 points of damage. Nice. <laughs> Fuck them up. That's awesome. Incredibly. Well done. Thanks. And then as a bonus action, can I go over here and scribble Pip was here instead of PP was here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you put an I in a dot above it, and now Pip was here on the trunk. <laughs> and I correct the grammar. Um, so and the awesome. this this flesh mound just goes <laughs> kind of shifts towards you. This oh. undulating mass of like null fur and bone oh. and people flesh, and this skull okay. cap kind of shifts towards you. This one okay. big eye on the right hand side focusing lazily on you. Where his cataracted other smaller eye kind of looks off into the just middle distance. You. Indeed. Uh, next up is after Pip, we have ASMR. Um, okay. <clears throat> As my action, I would like to try uh, to channel my divinity uh, with Turn the Unholy. So, as an action, you can send the fiends and undead, each fiend or undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 18. Um, on a failure, it's turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Okay, DC 18. Is it a con, you say? Uh, wisdom, sorry. Wisdom, sorry. Okay, wisdom is a fail and a fail. Fail and a fail. Fail and a fail, and yeah, so the uh, the witherlings and guckrack all fail. Nice, great. So that thing isn't undead, it's just an that abomination. Thing is not undead. It's, it's some okay. kind of something else. So, do they when it says turn, do they all turn on him, or do they just no, they it? are now fleeing away from you on their turn. So, because it says turn them, what does that mean? Means they like literally turn and run. <clears throat> oh. They are frightened of you. 
It can't it's be not close the usual. To you. It's not the usual frightening one. Oh, it's not. What does it say? It's um. It just says on a. It says turn the unholy. So I assumed it was like turn it. They're on our side, but I don't know if that because it's different from the. Um, oh, turn the unholy. It's actually under each female. Yeah. Oh, it's turned for one minute until the, yeah. So turned for one minute means, um, it literally goes right. Right. I'll be back in one sec. I need to pee. <laughs> 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 a lot of water and wine. So, but I think when you turn the undead, it is uh, each fiend is the, yeah, it's turned for a minute, so it literally means they run away from you. Okay, so cool. Um, next in the encounter is going to be oh, wait, uh, can I, as uh, my Mike. bonus action, I'll press one of the buttons on my flail, but I'll decide while you're peeing. Please do, right? Back in a sec, ladder. <laughs> it feels the only logical choice, right? It would be the only choice, really. Um, <clears throat> do, if, sorry if I missed it. How big is the man of Lumbergast? I was going to ask this. I don't know. How big he, he looks he's just, cute. He looks, he looks cute, but he Is that because he's just. <laughs> yeah, he could just like be flat, like a flat, flat piece of putty. Flat, he, flat. He, 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 just, piece of putty he looks like the <laughs> Goblin King. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I'm not scared if he's legendary. Right? Tim's legendary. Oh, yeah. he's never really. That's that's usually worked weirdly in our favor. Yeah. <laughs> Which but I no, think Tim no. despises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> legendary, my ass. Um, um. He looks about ten foot by ten foot, right? I mean, if, if if that's a comparative one to one, <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, big man, big I was time. I was doing what Tim's doing now when you move Popeye. Can you tell? Him, oh, he's back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what are you gonna? <laughs> I'm back. What's he doing? Hello. Hello. So, what is your bonus action? Um. The 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 button one, mm -hmm. flame tongue, yep. uh, with a long sword. Okay, nice. So you can wield it in one hand and have your shield in the other. Perfect. Nice. Uh, do I do anything to make it actually up, like update the attack or the stats? Just do I just add what it says? Yes. Do okay, that. that's fine. Thank you. Do nothing. Don't do that thing. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so they are... I'm going to actually check the turn the undead. No, you're probably right. I just assumed it was something different from the other thing that I could do that's exactly the same, but worded differently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn undead. And I'm dead. So still, I forever will have the second edition rules of time <laughs> dead in my head. Oh, what's the second edition? It is literally like the it, it does it by how powerful each individual creature is. Um. So it's like when you get to a certain cleric level, um, if you're powerful enough, it will just like destroy skeletons. It will destroy zombies. And other things like that. That would be super useful. Ghosts, run away. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <Here we> yeah. <go. laughs> Child of here we go. Um, uh, also, just uh, while uh, you're uh, doing that, just a vamp. Uh, I, Mike's a vampire, and we never speak about it. <laughs> oh yeah. Exactly. yeah! Don't bring attention mm -hmm. to it. <laughs> <laughs> You're all a wisdom saving throw for me. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. So, a turn creature must yes. spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly willingly move to a space within thirty feet of you. Also, can't take reactions for its action. It can only use a dash action to try and escape from the effect. 
bit prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere else to move, it only takes a dodge action. That's, that's totally fine. It's just weird that they would word it. It's so different. Yeah. That's yeah. the same. I agree. Okay, well, let's just get the rest of my gun. Just, okay. It's just us and Lumbergast. That's how we want it. Uh, Mike, how did you do? Ten. Okay, you can't. You have to run away from air <laughs> forever. <laughs> forever? She's very scary well, for, the, for this fight. But for a minute or until I damage you. <laughs> yeah. Until someone slaps you, you have to carry on running away. So, Mike, you'll go. Uh, you have to run away now from here. <laughs> okay. Um, so sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is because um, it's because your vampire boyfriend bit you in that cavern that you were yeah. in for like. Uh, not long boyfriend. Time. Like. Arid. Sex yeah. pet. Well, really. Sure. Sex pet. <laughs> so sex pet bit you, and you're now a vampire. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Not yeah. again. Not again. <laughs> Your sex pet, which is different from a sex pest. Thank you. Yes, very different. Turn into a vampire. <clears throat> Fine line. How can I? How do I? How can I move me? Or are you moving me? Um, you can move yourself by in the toolbar on the left hand side, going down to the bottom tool, which looks like a little man in a circle. Click on that, and then you can yeah. move yourself. Oh, I guess I'm running away then. Yes. Bye, guys. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I really timed I that revelation that. with the spell that would actually affect it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that far away enough? Do I have to go further? <laughs> if you can. No, that's fine. You can go there. Trying to get to that border there and then you stop. <laughs> Chad, you'll go. Um, I <laughs> would like to throw my big old bucket of piss <laughs> oh my God. and that make is. a Molotov piss cocktail. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to make it blend together, but it doesn't. But Lumbergast and I. I mean, the, the I, word's already there cocktail. Yeah. Oh, that was low on the fruit. That's a low blow, Tim. That was, that was <laughs> low hanging fruit. Uh, yes, hanging I would. I think I'm close enough. Let me measure it really quick. Go within 20 feet to throw your ball to pistol. I'm 50 feet. Okay, you can move 30 feet. Mm, what if I teleport myself? <laughs> uh, sure. can, can this thing move? Have we seen it like undulate? You have seen it undulate, yeah. I believe it can side move. to side or directionally. Yes. Um, both. Okay, then I would like to teleport myself directly above it. Lumbergast the man. Okay. <laughs> uh, what spell are you using to do that? Teleport. Is that an action? <laughs> Uh, no, that's a spell, and that's a seventh level spell, and it's my only seventh level spell. But I'm going to use it to. And it's teleport. an action, right? Is it an action as well? It should say 1A or 1BA next to it. It doesn't... Oh, no, it is 1A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's my action. action. Yeah. Yep, sorry. That's it. Uh, I'm going to teleport myself above Lumbergast to rain down... And I'm going to say with a bonus action, you can just slough off your barrel of ale, a barrel of ale, barrel of piss, uh, onto the man of Lumbergast and douse him in piss. Yep. That's what I would like to do. Chad, you're I would now like that very much. on top of... Oh, I'm still, I'm still going. Okay, I thought I was going to still be like flying through the air all cool, but now I'm just... <laughs> like, I mean, are, are, are you? No. Oh, okay. As long as you're cool with it, no. I'm going to delete you. Put Lombagoth there. Since we're remembering things this episode, doesn't Chad have to roll every day for his oh, accent? Okay. <laughs> we did that, yeah, we did that last time. This is why this some like last time we remembered that he was almost he's like an eighty year old man in human years and smells yeah. like rotten eggs. 
Um, so the man in Lomagos is now covered in piss. Great. And I'm on top of him. And you are on top of the piss man. <laughs> Just where you love to be. Lucky him. Uh, Carter, you'll go. Um, right, I'm going to get closer. Hang on. Is, is Chad on, like, literally physically on top? Literally standing on the piss man. Okay. I thought I was going to fall for longer. Shit. Just for the record. But if you want to, you will <laughs> take damage. <laughs> Well, no, I wanted, I wanted to like fucking, I'm just knocking over everything in my house. <laughs> I wanted to like throw the piss bucket and then like. Oh, you can do that. I mean, your teleport could be up to a mile away. So do you want I to be a mile to, I in the air? It to be like maybe a kilometer. Uh, you can be a kilometer in the air, which is what one point six three miles in the air. Under less than that. It's the opposite. A mile is 1.63 kilometers. No. Yeah, so you want to be a kilometer, yes. so it's less than a mile. Yes. Yeah, less than a mile. So 1.63 miles. No. But what is 0 0.63? That's more. Yes, 0 0.63 yes. miles. Yes. Why are you pulling like this mean... distance knowledge out of your brain? So you <laughs> yeah, it's suddenly really smart. Uh, um, yeah. Actually, <laughs> it's, uh, it's how we measure things in mountain time, Ellie. Really. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, Mountain please. time is made up, Khalil. <laughs> Mountain time exists, I swear. So you want to hit terminal velocity? Yeah, but I've got a breath. You're falling. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> you land on the boot. Uh, you, will, you will hit. Okay. I'm going to do some calculations about when you hit and if it's still there. <laughs> if I haven't burned up on entry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. Uh, Parto, what do you want to do whilst I look at um, kilometers per hour? Should have thought this through. I'm going to move. <laughs> it's literally just lumber gas, right? And the others are and the goat with the lings and gurkak. Oh, they are there. Okay. They're, run they're running away, though. They're still there. They will okay. be when it gets to their turn. Yeah. It's fucking I, I want to move as close as I can within, was it 30? Is it 30 feet I've got? Yeah, oh, it's one. It's point. It's point six one. Sorry, not six three. My bad. Oh, close. Know your distance. Um, right. Where? Wh how close can I get? Because I want to get within. Uh, from speed. where you are, what is your movement speed? Um, that's what I was just trying to look for. Oh, where is it? Be on your couch sheet at the Actions very top speed. in the middle. Um, thirty feet. Uh, you can probably get to like just below air, like if you yeah. want to go south of air, you can be there. And then that gets me within how far? Uh, to Lumbergost, uh, 25 feet. Okay. And pull out, I want to pull out my little silver box that we got from the, the recent battle. <laughs> oh no, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to throw, <laughs> aiming for Lumbergost, I want to get, get Lumbergost. Isn't it, it. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what that area effect is, though. I feel like it's just like a giant black space that we're all in now. Like, <laughs> I put that. That was a custom <laughs> thing I made for her. <laughs> One second. I forgot you had that. <laughs> <laughs> Is my custom stuff. Well then I'm remembering that you have something. I remember something. I remember usually something. do that. <laughs> yeah. It was Imperinatrix. Imperia. Type in hot fascist. Here we go. There she is. Hot fascist. All right. Got it. Uh, hot fascist <laughs> is got the arcane box. Spartan Hell's miniature spiked iron cube. Up expands at point you can see within 60 feet each creature in 20 foot radius. Each creature, fuck, why did I say creature? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. All right. <laughs> each creature, I should have brought like some kind of <laughs> some kind of like um size quotient on this. Uh, dexterity, which has got minus three to, so it needs, it needs to roll a 21 on a d20. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, it didn't roll a 21 on a d20. 
Um, it yes. takes 10d6 bludgeoning damage, so you can roll 10d6 for me, please, Martin. 10d6, with pleasure. Four. Okay. A six. That's <laughs> ten. Ten. Right, another four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, three. Seventeen. Five. Uh, that is twenty-two. How many more have I got rolled? Three. <laughs> five. Five more. Five more. Six. Uh, Twenty-nine. <laughs> One. Thirty. Two more. One. Thirty-one. Two more. Six. Thirty-seven. One more. And a one. Thirty-eight. So it takes thirty-eight points of damage and is now encased in a magical metal prison. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Take that lumber gust, you fat piece of poo. <laughs> wow. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah, he's now in a cube of your control. Yep. What does it look like? Uh, so it looks like basically a big version of itself. So he threw like he threw like a big metal. So think of Hellraiser. You know that cube that got in Hellraiser. If you've ever seen it or <laughs> imagined it when you were being asleep at some point. You know, like. mm -hmm. uh, but it's um, about yay big, about probably four inches, four by four by four, um, and it's got striations around it. It's got lines, consecutive concentric lines all around it engraved into the metal and there are like small spikes around the edges and one like big spike in all the faces in the middle of the face going outwards and when you throw it out it makes a bigger version of itself so it's a big metal cube with all these spikes coming out of it with these engravings arcane blasphemous kind of devil wording i just it. went onto the thing to see if there was like a <laughs> And all I see is graffiti everywhere. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> me, me and Chad. Oh no, A is hot. Been having a... No, it says not. A disagreement. No, it says hot. No, I think I read not. it as A is hot, which means Chad yeah, is, is hot. on the fight and not. Refresh it. <laughs> we, had, we had Chad smells very, very bad. We had Chad is. Uh, all buff and cool. Um, I don't know. Oh, you you're right. I just think isn't been loading correctly. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's taken our privileges off. Tim, what have you done? <laughs> uh, I will. Well, yeah. Uh, that. Uh, so that's part of done. It's now the Noel Witherlings go. They run away. That's all they can do. Far away from here, so they go like this over here. Run away, run away. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my handwriting. It looks pretty much on brand. I'm I coming. Think, I, think okay. I think he did. And run away. Can't be me. I'm flying through the air. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was lumber ghost. <laughs> Fucking lumber ghost. <laughs> Uh, Lumbergoss is inside this cube. He'll try and beat his way out of the cube. <laughs> it looks so pissed off. Uh, <laughs> yes! This is very legendary. I fucking love it. <laughs> Two fist attacks. Oh, plus 13. Still doesn't fucking hit it. <laughs> plus 13. <laughs> oh, that's a 20, though. There we go. That'll do. Oh, oh, oh. Everything's coming at Milham. Um... Spoopy note thing in the chat said, This is how we ended up with seat craig, isn't it? This is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Seat craig. 23 plus 7, 30 points of damage. Why do you do this to me? I, I didn't do anything. You gave me the box. Like you... well, okay, victim blaming. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Is C Craig part of this campaign? No. Yeah. I thought C no, Craig. Well, he might. We 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 have constantly suspected that he would secretly oh, be. Yeah. Yeah, we got, he's the, yeah. He's the ultimate villain of all of these things because of <laughs> ANRA's misdeeds. We <laughs> yeah. like him to be the evil underlord of 
whatever place that we was. Did. We did, yeah. We, we replaced Strad as the yeah. ruler. We replaced Strad. That's true, yeah. I think it's the origin been... story. What did you say, Pip? I said Pip. <laughs> don't think Pip actually said that. Um, I was going to say, oh, I said he's probably doing a great job ruling. Yeah, I'm proud of him. Sure. Brain yeah. Is fun. Probably. We'd be proud of him. We raised him well. We okay, right. Well, it started <laughs> beating at the inside of this box. Uh, there we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> is he getting damaged while that's happening? He's not, no, but he is imprisoned. Okay. Oh, Tim looks so cross. <laughs> <laughs> Pip, you'll go. Um, I was too busy graffitiing to listen to any of what has happened. Oh, um, <laughs> Every, all my cool stuff's run away, and uh, the other cool stuff is in a box. So Great. What do you do? <laughs> and things, and things get in the box. Curious. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this would be a really cool. This would be super back fun. And, like really oh, nice oh, and oh, cool oh, for you to hear and experience. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Legendary <laughs> crap. Legendary crap. Scare everyone away and put the guy in the box. <laughs> well, yeah, can things uh, get in the box or no? Is it no, it's it's well, you can try try and get in the box by like attacking it. But, well, but, I was gonna set the piss on fire, um, but I can't. Uh, it's falling through the air, like with um, Chad. Like Chad teleported a mile in the air. And, through the <laughs> barrel in front of him, so like the barrel's falling Wait, through the air. So and he's gonna land on the box instead of yeah, yeah. This is not me. <laughs> no, but, but he's not gonna land on Lumbergus. Right? Yeah, Lumbergus is in the box, and the piss and Chad is gonna they land on the box. Free of the piss. <laughs> no, so you're gonna land in the and he has a free the box. You're gonna land on the piss. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you really <laughs> took the fucking wind out of my sails, guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> do we? Do we want to keep? It's gonna look really cool, and now it's just me falling onto a big pile of piss. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Basically. that always gonna be the outcome? Really? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do we want to keep him in the box, or do we want to get? Like, because I, I will set the piss on fire, but then I'm worried he'll just oh, be yeah, out. That, so you're just going to set me on pissy fire. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think we keep him in the box for a bit, because otherwise yeah. all this glorious stuff that Tim has planned, we'll, we'll have to fight. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall I try and get the piss how, barrel out? How did... what? Yeah. If the others are running away... How is that? How did that get out of the box the first time? I feel like oh. they're running away to get more people. By the way, yeah. No, they're scared of air. Oh, is that it? Okay, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Um, um in that case, we got out of it by rolling dice. I think. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move the piss out of the way of the box because I'm worried if the piss lands on the box, it will break it open. So the piss is about, Are you gonna move the piss? The about half a kilometre half a kilometer in the air. How do you want to move it out of the way? Like five hundred metres away. Um a on. ladder. <laughs> yeah. It's like a make a slide. Yeah. Um my uh, I can cast wind wall and that is yeah, 120 feet. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'll the piss just going to go everywhere, isn't it? It's going to splatter. <laughs> it's always going to go everywhere. So I cast, I cast wind wall just above okay. Lumbergast, yeah. but directly up, so that it, <laughs> <laughs> so that it throws the barrel of piss straight into Chad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big giant fucking flesh monster <laughs> in the Rubik's cube. In the Rubik's yeah, cube, he's in a box. When has putting things in a box ever failed us before? Never. I'm gonna. The um, time when you tried to put that sphere of annihilation in, in, yeah, the, yeah. in a bag and nearly ended the world. Yeah, we almost destroyed <laughs> the entire game. But, but did the world end? No. No. Didn't. Good point. No. Um, Our world's about to end. 
<laughs> You're about to be covered in pit. <laughs> Leo, Spoopy says, it's how Chad would have wanted to go. It's true. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, okay, so um, Piss cast that as an action for women. <laughs> <just did. laughs> to navigate this way. Yeah. Piss cast it. <laughs> you don't need to call me Piss. <laughs> How is it a pit? No, you piss. No, you piss. You piss. You piss. You piss. piss cast that. Oh, no. oh, no. That is not my nickname. I'm sorry. This... <laughs> Wait, I meant to say pit. All right, well, piss cast that then, I guess. <laughs> so you piss cast. <laughs> Not my fault. Um, so Pip cast Pip. Windwall, drip the piss away. I didn't feel this is my fault. Um, and away from the cube. Uh, Aya, it's your go. Aya just left. Oh, okay. Uh, no. I think that's pretty what we all should have done about 30 minutes ago. Um, yeah. um, what does the piss hit, Chad? That's all I care about. We'll find out when the piss gets close enough to the wind wall to do yeah, something. Throw away. Yeah. Uh, Mike, what would you like to do after Aya does something? Mike and Mac. Oh, no, you run. You carry on anyway. Uh, Mike, uh, Chad, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, not get hey, like this. Sorry. Aya's back. Okay, so how far away from Lumbergas, and, to be clear, there are no holes in the box that Lumbergas is in. Correct. So you're halfway to the box now. You've plummeted half a kilometre down. <clears throat> you're now half a kilometre away. And where's Piss? Um, I'm sorry, Piss. Piss is still... <laughs> the Piss is still six feet in front of you. <laughs> below you. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to do what I had always planned, which was definitely always my plan. Don't ask me twice. Um, I'm going to dimension door myself. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, what into the box. trajectory? Yeah, into the piss barrel. <laughs> Can you dimension door the piss with you? <laughs> I can direct it from inside the barrel. No. Uh, I would like to dimension door myself to the ground, but away from Piss. the wind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Well, that makes sense. I'm yeah. going this way. The piss barrel is going that way. I want to go that yeah. way. Yeah, you did. Fine. I feel like I spent a whole lot of my spells <laughs> okay. really? turning into not being covered by piss um <laughs> what did you think was going to happen when you decided to barrel up yeah, the yeah to be fair that was that's on yeah. me um i'm trying to figure out can i can i teleport myself behind gurkle gurkle uh Gurkak? yes you can Gurkak. <laughs> Gurkak. Gurkle. Uh, behind gurkle yeah thank you Gurkle. Um, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll give you one of those. Which one? Out of mind. Oh, great! Only. Uh, is your teleport a action or reaction or bonus? I'm pretty sure it's an action. Okay. Uh, tell her, well, yeah, hold on. It's Dimension Door. So, oh, okay. oh, wait a minute. It is. No, it's an action. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. I thought it might have been, but yeah. And you appear behind Gurkak. Job done. Not covered in piss. Not might I add. yet. Covered in piss. Hey, yeah. Uh, what would you like Not to do? Not yet. <laughs> I, you're all behind. And I can't see the map anymore or my character sheet. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So, currently, <clears throat> you are next to Parter, and you are. Uh, 
25 feet away from uh, the man of Lumbergos. Okay, I'm trying to get on my phone. You're all, it's all out of sync, so you're all moving as if you're still talking, but okay. your words were together. That's weird. It's my internet. I think it's just broken. That's um, weird. Can I get in? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm delayed. <laughs> You're not delayed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what's happening. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go on to my hotspot. Um, go on to the next person. I'll be after them. You going on to your hotspot? Okay. <laughs> leave her. Leave her alone. <laughs> <Kill us>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, okay. Alice. Oh, no. Oh, Alice. Oh, we're all having so much fun. <laughs> there was the whole Alice saying everything's delayed, and then it was a long pause, and it was clipping. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, um... she's not coming like back. Chad, done. Um, Parter, the Parterfist. Wait there. Uh, right. So I am going to. I'm still pretty damn close to him. I'm going to use a level five spell. He's in a cube. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. But to be clear, he is in a metal metal cube, and I am going to heat that metal. Is it still delayed? I was. <laughs> I can see that you're doing it now, but before it was it was also yeah, delayed. Sorry, Alice. Sorry, Alice. None of it was in sync anyway. So this... <laughs> oh, no, it might, Alice. might have been in sync. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I can hear you giggling. You sure? It also wasn't in sync when you were laughing. So <laughs> right. uh, Pastor, what do you want to do? Is the cube? Is the Rubik's cube that you threw? I I am going to ago. heat. I'm going to heat him up oh, with you heat metal. Fucker. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's a right. Really good I'm combination going to... of those two things. I'm going to cook that metal. There's no um, saving throw to that, so they just take damage. Yes. Look at you, clever boy. I know, that's right? A really, really. Uh, get get inspiration for that. It's a really, really good combo. Oh. Wow. Well done, Parker. Are you learning how to play the game? I did something. Uh, like four years later. I've got to go. <laughs> um, what level? I'm going to go level five. I'm going to go fifth level for now. Okay. Uh, so in that case, can you roll for me five d eight heat damage? Oh, fire damage. Five d eight. Uh, two. Two. So that's four. Two. Four. That says ten. And a six. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Heat could have been better. Got it. Nothing he can do to not take that damage, and then you can, because you're concentrating on it, you can just use the bonus action to keep it going. Um, uh, on your subsequent turns. Um, 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 I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cast magic stone, and I'm going to throw it at one of the runaway bad boys. Is he is Magic Stone a uh, bonus a, action cantrip? Yeah. A roll to hit, I believe. Uh, what do I need to roll? Twelve. I roll. Twelve. You roll plus your. Spellcasting modifier, correct? Uh, Your attack roll? Yeah, hang on. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. I was looking on the wrong page. Uh, it's roll to 12, hit DC plus 10. Is that right? Let's have a look. So confused. At your spells for your throwy throw throw. So your medic stone plus 10 to hit. So yeah, you rolled a yep. 12 plus yeah. yeah, so that hits. So uh, 1d6 plus 5. So the cube. It. That was a three. 
And mm -hmm. plus five. So you do eight points of damage to the cube. Oh yeah. no, you're going to break the cube open. <clears throat> oh, shit. Does the cube have this? That's, that's a good distinction. So you're, yes. th I you're throwing, throwing it. To the cube. Yeah, no, I thought I was throwing. Did I not throw it? I was throwing it at one of the runaway guys, the bad boys. Oh, away. the runaway guys. Oh, yeah. dead. Oh. <laughs> Killed oh, him. Dead. Bam. Back of the head. <laughs> Breaks his neck. Dead. But now we know we just have to heat or electrocute or freeze. The cube to or just drum cube. on it, drive him insane. And Wait, the... so how much damage does it, does it do to lumber gust? Uh, well, he did the heat metal to it, so it did, um, he did like quite a lot of heat damage, fire damage to lumber gust. Okay. And he heated the metal and then threw a stone, uh, a random stone, <laughs> a zombie, <laughs> fling zombie, and killed it. Great, uh, incredibly, 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 incredibly. incredibly. Incredible. Another legend. Another legend. <laughs> Incredible. In a world. <laughs> in a world where you fuck up all of my plans. <laughs> 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 where a whole bunch of cool shit just runs off the board. <laughs> we do. Can you imagine? From Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Nothing happens in this film. <laughs> the best kind of film. E.T. was a dick stuck I'd, in the cube. I'd watch, I'd watch that film for 95 episodes and like <laughs> yeah, sure, wouldn't 200 me? hours of my life. Yeah. I only ever watch films when nothing happens. <laughs> but the people Can you off? imagine there's no resolution to any of the narrative? That's what Iris it is just for. just kind of ends. Guy. Hey Chad, can you imagine an attack of opportunity? It yep. Happens right now. <laughs> For me? For you. Roll to hit. <laughs> On who? What am I rolling for? He but hits. Gurkak, because you're right next to him, because he's teleported next to him and he's running away. 11. Plus? That was my, it was my initiative, right? No, you're rolling to hit with your axe. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's what that hits with a 20. So roll oh your 1d20 plus 1d12 plus 2d10 plus 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 1d4. Might as well just kill what? it now, too. Uh, is there an additional plus on those? Yeah. <laughs> that is <isn't> enough. <laughs> there is an additional plus on all of those, right? Yeah. It's plus, plus, 12, plus 7. On everything. Old oh, okay. plus 12 to hit. And it's plus seven damage, yeah. Yeah, yeah plus D20 seven plus D12 yeah, plus yeah, yeah, two yeah. D10 so, so plus D8, D6, D4 plus seven. So I've got a 17. Okay. Jam. Damn. Plus a <laughs> uh, 10 plus 10. 20. 29. Plus a 29. Plus a 4 plus 7, 11. 11, so 38. Plus a 4 plus 7. Still 11. necessary. Uh, so that is 49. <laughs> Plus a three plus seven ten. Uh, four plus seven ten. Uh, ten. Fifty nine. Yeah. Fifty nine. Plus a four plus seven eleven. Oh no! You don't hit plus seven every single time. It's just a flat plus seven. <laughs> Do all the math again. <laughs> Can I start over? <laughs> Sorry. A uh, seventeen plus ten twenty seven, and then just do the t tens again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three seven. D10. Uh, D10 uh, plus five. Uh, 32 plus another D10. Plus five. Uh, 37 plus D8. Who's this? D8. Who's this there? Uh, two. The, the main guy. Uh, 40 plus another uh, D6. Four. 44 plus a D4. Plus a four, and that's a two. 46 plus 7, 53 points of damage. <laughs> uh, okay, he looks bad. Lumbergast. He's taking like half it's of his... No, it's just a random null. <laughs> well, a random one. But I'm just uh... going to call him Lumbergast. <laughs> that was, does... for... yeah. was that to Gurkak? Uh, it's yeah. to Gurkak, yes. Yeah. Okay. He runs oh, away geez. over here. <clears throat> Uh, can I bonus action? 
Uh, no, because that, oh, that was not already That's his go. Attack of opportunity. Okay. That's him trying to run away. Uh, but that is the end of the go. So now at the top of the round, it's Pip. Um, do I know if using Scorching Ray on the box would heat it up more or would it? It would damage the box only. Okay. Let's not do that then. Um, can I direct the wind wall? Yes. Oh, you okay. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I direct the wind wall to. No, I don't know. Um, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to direct the wind wall to Gurkak. Okay. To smash the barrel of piss into him. All right. Uh, but a roll. Is, is that? Sorry. Is that an action? Would I always? Uh, no, it's a bonus action. Okay. So then, can I use my scorching ray to set the barrel of piss on fire? Yes, yes, Great. you can. Nice. Uh, roll one d ten plus three d six. Uh, actually, first of all, roll your uh, roll a d twenty and add it to your spell casting modifier. Okay, <laughs> sixteen. Oh, plus yeah, that'll hit. Five. Yep, and then... sixteen plus five. Yeah, twenty one. That'll hit. And roll three d six plus one d ten. Oh god, a d six is a normal dice, right? Yeah. Correct. So, five. Five. Four. Nine. Two. Eleven. And then 1d10? Please. Ten. Wow, so 21 points of flaming piss damage. Nice. <laughs> <to> <laughs> the best As this barrel kind of explodes on his back, coating him in hot piss. Nice. He's going to do a saving throw, see if he carries it, stays on his feet. Uh, he does. He stumbles forward, but stays on his feet. What's funny is he's not said or done anything to any of us. Nope. So he just tried to <laughs> yes, cast a spell, has. got really scared of air and ran away and got covered in piss. And what's his name? Gurkak. Oh, I thought you were going to say Lumbergast. What's his last <laughs> name? <laughs> uh, Lumbergast. <laughs> oh, technically, Ak. Oh. His first name's Gurk. 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 <laughs> Gurk. Gurk. Is he Lumbergast's dad? I prefer. Uh, no, no, Lumbergast is the, the town. That's the man. He's kind of Lumbergast's bone daddy, though. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. He's, he's a little bit. He of a is Lumbergast's bone daddy. Gurkak Lumbergast. Gurkak Lumbergast. Uh, Ayo, you're good. Um, how far is. I'm sorry, I can't load the map anymore without you all dying. Um, you're still 25 feet away from uh, the man of Lumbergast. But he's in a box, right? But he's in That's a box. That's on fire. He's he's like, oh, how far is Gurkak? Uh, Gurkak from you Gurkak. is uh, 125 feet. Okay. I will walk 30 feet towards him and then... So now 95 feet away. Use my heavy repeating ram's head crossbow. Roll to hit. <laughs> uh, 10 for 17. 17 will hit. Fred, 1d10 plus 2. 5. Plus 2, 7. That's it. It's just 1 d10 plus 2. Oh, right. Um, I don't know what a ram, ram's head does. It just looks like a ram's head. I don't think it does anything special. He just gets hit by an arrow. But as my bonus action, I'm going to set my sword on fire. Oh, because it's a repeating ram's head, you can fire it twice. Oh. Normally, you don't be able to fire it Thanks. once. But it's like... Uh, 17 plus 7. That hits. Nice. And, and 6, 7, 8. Dead. Yay! Mm. Uh, the ram's head did nothing. Uh, not long because, but... Uh, the Gurkak. daddy of Lumbergast is dead. Gurkak kind of Gurkak. gets shot in the back with two arrows and just skids along the floor into nice. a halt. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to set my sword on fire with the bonus action. So your flail turns into a, uh, a sword. <laughs> fire. That's me. Okay, that's you. Mike, you'll go. You're running away. Uh, <laughs> you'll <sorry>. go. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, you'll go. Um, how can I? There's a man in the box with lots of fleeing under. Yeah, it. how can I? How can I heat this box more? Um, Feels like piss us past that to me too. I think. Wait, am I about to be hit by piss? No, the piss is gone. 
I just hit the guy in front of you. Kill You're him. welcome. I, I'm looking up just to make sure there isn't another barrel that somebody else sent. You look up and there's a slight, a slight rain of piss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the condensation isn't of piss. It, isn't, it, isn't it raining anyway? So you just think it's rain? Yeah, yeah. You but just it, it catches it's the light. Until, until Doesn't you know, it like, rain? And there's you lick like your lizard rainbow. lips, and then like that's a bit salty. Yeah. Oh. Can there be a piss rainbow where it catches the light? Yeah, a piss bow. It's nice. just yellow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the colors of the piss. <laughs> All the way hydrated, from, like, dehydrated. Too much water, which is completely transparent. So, like, you've only had coffee in the last five days, and it's brown. It's a, it's a Jenny time ring. Jenny, I was just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A... Asparagus piss, just in rainbow. <laughs> um, is the box still on fire? Uh, the box is all glowing with heat. Yeah. Can I reduce the box? Oh, I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Little microwave. Yes. Can you though? Yeah. But that reduce, right now. Will that reduce lumbergast or will lumbergast just burst? Yes, one eighth of normal. This reduction we'll decreases the size of one until the spell ends. Now, I mean, the target's weapons also shrink to match its new size. While these weapons are reduced, the target's attack with them deals one d four less damage. Teeny so tiny the range area be. is thirty feet. How big is that box? Let's have a look. 20. 20. 20, then yes, you can. It's within your range to reduce it down to kill that man. <laughs> That's so you're the idea. Because you, you're not reducing the creature inside it, because you, you've got a target. What a horrible way to die. Lumbergast has been causing see it. problems for the last five years. <laughs> he is a dick. Oh no, Tim's thinking. <laughs> this is like when um, when I attend the war to <laughs> Chad, can you roll 9d10, please? Oh, this could be epic. Uh, three. Three. <laughs> Four. Four. That's seven. Five. Uh, Twelve. Four. Uh, Six. Sixteen. Seven. I'm going in order. Oh, two, How many? Three. <laughs> yeah. three. Four. Five. Four more. One. Three, four. Seven. Uh, three, one. Four. Three, five. Four. Three, nine. One. Eight. Tim, all the, the amount of math you have to do on this show, <laughs> you really thought your brain was 31 plus four. <laughs> Yeah, like, so awesome. uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so you reduce the box and then it shatters, like covering this flesh glossus with or shrapnel, but it's now released and just kind of spills out of the box. It's fleshy tendrils kind of lashing out to one side. You've now released it. The box. Release the beast. Chad. And you took quite a hefty amount of damage, right? Yeah, that was, still, damage, that was yeah. really good. Between the two of you, you cooked him. Yeah, cooked Let's him and constricted him. Let's put him baked in a box again. Cooked him, baked him. Nice. Put him in stew. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, party, you'll okay. go. Uh, I am <laughs> going to. Pass box. I'm gonna throw it what is that shattered for good now? Is that gone? No, done? no, it just really it turns back into a box. Okay, okay, cool. You can pick up. Um oh, two minds here. I am going to cast my new level seven Arboreal Curse, which I, I feel like I should rest uh, give you people seven let seven levels as well. <laughs> <laughs> new um, people. It should be allowed. <laughs> you people. <laughs> Arboreal Curse, Constitution 18. All right. You attempt to turn one creature that you can see within range into wood. If the body's target is made of flesh, <laughs> oh, wow. if it's made of flesh, the creature oh, must make, it, uh, make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it's restrained as flesh begins to harden into bark. I don't like that. Save, the creature isn't affected. Then 18, it's got a plus it seven is. con, so I need to roll 11 or higher. Yeah. 
Um, and it carries on. If the, uh, if the creature is restrained by the spell, must take an, uh, make another uh, constitution saving throw mm -hmm. at the end of it, each of its turns. If it successfully saves against the spell three times, the spell ends. If it fails uh, it three times, it is turned into a tree and subjected to the petrified condition for the duration. <laughs> if, the transformed, if the transformed creature is burned, chopped down, or otherwise destroyed by the petrified, down. the creature is slain. Wow. <laughs> What the hell is that? Spell? I've got, I've got an axe. I well, rolled a nine yeah. for seven, sixteen. That first one, it just goes. It starts like thrashing around towards, um, towards. I guess all of you really is just like thrashing out towards you, um, and then like the tops of its tendrils start to turn to wood, and it kind of like plunges down into the swamp, into the quagmire. <clears throat> As you can see, like the the tips of all of its extrusions start turning to wood. Giggity giggity. Giggity giggity. Uh, giggity no, giggity. with the lings around. It's, it's go again. It's got to make another saving throw. If it fails three times, is that including the first yeah. initial one? Uh, so oh, let me get that back up. Hang on. Uh, you see the three in total, or four in total. So you, you tend to burn the, 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 the target's body is made of flesh. On a failed save, it's restrained as its flesh begins to harden. Yeah. On a successful save, the creature isn't affected, but that's fine. Okay. That. So it failed the first um, one. A creature restrained by the spell must make another constitution saving throw at the end of each of its turns. If it successfully saves against this three, this spe the spell three times, the spell ends. If three it times. fails... So an additional three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's got four in total. Failed the first one. Second one. It's got to get 11 or higher. So it's literally a 50 50 is a coin toss now. A two plus seven, Tails. nine fails. Uh, Pip, you'll go. Like more of it starts to harden up. Um, is he a tree forever if we don't kill him? If he fails two more times, he's a tree forever. <laughs> I mean, Man, give him back to the, give him back, give him back. Yeah, he's Bring giving back, back to. Back. He's like you know being environmentally friendly. Uh, you know, ashes, to ashes, tree to tree. Yeah. <laughs> Flesh to tree, tree to <laughs> firewood, firewood to like cooking my soup. Lumber goes to tree. Ashes to ashes, tree to tree. Um, legend to wood. You're not legendary. I... <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I kind of want to see him become a tree, so I'm just going to go up to how how tied down is he? Has he still got arms to hurt me with? Uh, he never really had her arms to begin with. He's just like a lumpy, flashy, flashy, fleshy mess. Of, <laughs> flashy, flashy yeah. mess. It, it was basically just a bunch of corpses kind of stitched together. Okay. Um, keeping away from the corpses that could reach me sure. i'm gonna scratch into his trunk pip was here <laughs> okay uh, roll a sleight of hand check and that's, not, it's, it's that's what it says on the screen yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um okay 17 plus 5 uh yeah yeah eloquently carve into like part of his um, arboreal cursed flesh this uh, well. Pip, Pip was here. This wow. This wow. Um, <laughs> this wow. 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 Um, and then I just want to let him be a tree. I don't really okay. want to do anything else. You let, you let him become a tree. Uh, Nightcat has made a good point. Somebody just needs to inflict a little bit of damage on Mike just to. Stop her running. Yeah, away. True. Please don't. Because no, don't. Because he, <laughs> he threw a stone and you knocked out that guy. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Uh, I'm, not... Go. Um... I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy running off. <laughs> I don't, really don't, don't throw anything. Don't throw anything at me. Get her. <laughs> oh, yeah, Is it Popeye? Don't. He's gonna like tackle me and eat me. Uh, I'm so sorry. First, subdural though. damage. If you want to subdural. Which is okay, not he's, lethal. Yeah, just, he's just gonna just <laughs> gently like boot you with his with his horn. Okay. Uh, he, he's pretty. Hit. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Roll a natural like little... and impale her. <laughs> yeah, just kill Mike. <laughs> I've got her. <laughs> <laughs> I just might even hit six plus 
um, it's plus. Bite. Oh, is it bite or claw? Should I use? Uh, either one. Oh, so they're both the same. So twelve. No. So it's just me. So roll again. Oh. Hopefully, just the hit the the, the nope. temporary hit points that you gave me. They won't even hit you. He's, he can't even hit you when he's trying. He's just yeah. sort of like thrashing towards you and messing. Is he oh. just like running oh. alongside me? Like yeah, yeah trying to <laughs> hit you. <laughs> trying to call you on the way past. Uh, a, you could try and oh. fire a crossbow bolt at Mike to wake her up if you want to. Is it in the way though? I yeah. thought it was. It is now your oh. go. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, then sorry, Mike. Because it might hurt more than the other one. Uh, I'm just going to fire a crossbow ball at Roll you. Roll to hit. Great. Great. That one probably doesn't hit. It's four plus it's seven. Seven, eleven, doesn't it hit? Fire again. Fourteen plus seven. There you so go. 21. Twenty-one will hit. D ten plus two. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's only got two hit points. Let's do four. Uh, Mike, you take four points of damage, which will take off your temporary hit points. So you still I'll have put you a little bit afterwards, don't worry. Wow. Well, there's an offer you can't refuse. Um, <laughs> you take four hit, hit points and you're now no longer frightened of air because she shot you. <laughs> yes. Logic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike, you'll go. Cool. Your, your um, actions I'm really far away, aren't I? You are. But you um, are. Um, however, you're a rogue, so you've got like 90 feet of movement. So you can get back onto the battlefield pretty quickly. Um, <clears throat> tell me the last thing about Lumbergast. He's turning into a tree. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, cool. Can yeah, I... Um, <laughs> I want to... I want to get there really quick, but I also want to cast Hideous Laughter on him. What's the range of Hideous Laughter? 30 feet. Uh, you can get within range. I can? Yep. Cool. I want him to be in pain laughing as he's turning into wood. You failed. You got four <laughs> plus three, seven. So it starts laughing ooh, ooh, from multiple mouths, all ooh. located in different ooh. pieces on of its undulating mass. Um, <laughs> like some like desiccated gnoll mouths, some other like elvish mouths, some corpse mouths, and like his big. He's got that um, that skull cap, that um, steel skull cap that you know the man named Lumbergost has in the middle. And starts roaring with laughter. That fucking guy. Um, <laughs> from different places all over the, his body. Any any of the other faces? Do we recognize any of them? Uh, you probably would know. There's some like uh, there's Noel faces. <laughs> um, you know, having grown up in Blackmire, some other Lumbergostian ruffians, uh, oh, ruffians. Sort of amalgamated into its like flesh Good. body. Yeah. Oh, rip. 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 More Lumbergastians can get. Yeah, we hate Lumbergastians. Lumbergastians. Suck. They suck. Chad, you'll go. I... Tim, wait, wait, wait. At, wait, wait. At the end of each turn of its turns, and each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving oh, throw. Okay. So... Oh, so roll damage for it as well, actually. This laughter is one. Oh no, it hasn't taken any damage. At the end of its go, and it hasn't been the end of its go yet. So nothing happened. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, party, you'll go. Uh, Chad, you'll go. Then party. I'm gonna chop this tree because <laughs> I fucking hate lumber gust. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll to hit. Uh. 31. Yes, of course that hits. Yeah. 20 plus a d12, 2d10, d8, d6, d4. So I got an 11 on the 20 plus d12? Yep. 
plus eight. So I got 19. 19. 10. Plus. D10. Yes. Yes. There it is. Uh, plus six. Uh, 25. Plus another D10. Plus another D10 is plus seven. Uh, so 32. Plus eight. D8. Plus D8 is. That's not a D8. I rolled 11. Uh, oh. Eight. Okay, uh, so that is 40 plus a d6. Plus 5. Um, so it's 45 plus a d4. Plus 4. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm really going plus 7. One. You really hate these guys. Yeah. Uh, okay, 46 points of damage. Jeez Louise. Oh, hold on. Do you have two attacks? Uh, what? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'd like start chopping down the tree. Uh, it looks pretty bad. Uh, meanwhile, party or go. Oh, I don't, I don't know that would have been it. He must be close, right? In, he's Got. both close to being a tree and close to death, yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I hope he stays a tree. Him first. <laughs> it's a bit risky, though, if he saves himself. Uh, I'm gonna. I am going to. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna use blight. I'm gonna do level four, fourth level. Four, fourth level blight. Okay. Fourth level blight. I'm gonna suck the moisture out of him. On eighteen, <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness! Uh, passes. <laughs> half as much, so still roll eight d eight. Takes half damage. Okay. Roll Imagine if he did get covered. Damage. If he got covered in piss. <laughs> Four. Okay. Two. Six. Seven. That is a 13. A 6. 19. A 5. 24. A 3. 27. A 6. A 3. Is it two more or one more? One more. And an 8. Ooh, so 41 points of damage. Oh my goodness. It's half that, so 20 points of damage. Bingo, bango, bongo. Bingo, bango, bongo. Uh, yeah, you start to see all the moisture kind of evaporating from this tree. Like the tree is turning into the husk of the tree that's actually right next to it. That's also been dried out and <laughs> turned into husk. It's like all the moisture is being drawn out of it. Was that first tree also lumber goss? <laughs> it might have been. Might have been. <laughs> like a big <laughs> Circle of life. <laughs> Circle of life. So I'm going to turn this on. Oh. Oh, so because it's a significant role. Mm. Oh my goodness! A little bit fucked up at the moment. So I'm just gonna I'm quickly go into my launch G Hub. Just <laughs> <laughs> that white, white balance down the. That was really bad. Don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't. <laughs> it no, not the time. <laughs> no. I'm focused on the stream for now. And yeah. That's just for us. Okay, I'll, I'll back out of my G Hub. Uh, right, so I need a 10 or lower to fail or 11 or higher to pass with, with this one. Say that again 10 or lower to fail. Yes. Yeah. You want me to roll 10 or lower? You just showed us a trick, guys. Yeah. No. I Waited. Waited. I know one. Well, I've got. Actually, okay. Which one do you want me to roll? I've got oh. um, the main one. Your main one. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no,
He knew you'd go for the whole list. You fell for it, Ellie. Damn it. (laughs) This guy here? So it's 10 or lower. What is it? Can't see it. 13. 11. See, Ellie? The frog let us down. It breaks free. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, it, it wants to break free. But that was one of the coolest things you've ever done, though. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty good. Yeah, I appreciate so, it. Three, eighteen. So, yeah, it does beat it. Unfortunately. Does it still have a cool Pip was here tattoo though? It does. Yeah, carved into its flesh now. Nice. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, okay. it doesn't say piss how many... well. It does say piss well, according to the screen. Hang on, hang it on. Say piss well, yeah. Piss well. I just need to check just quickly, just quickly. Uh-huh. How, how many times? Is that your first time of successfully rolling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've got to roll successfully three times the spell ends. <laughs> oh, I've got to roll successfully three times. Look at Josh yeah. coming oh, in shit. with the. When did you learn the? When did you read your character? Yeah, just yeah, I suddenly realised. I suddenly realised there's a lot of text in there that I need to read. The wording of that. <laughs> oh, so I didn't pick out it. All right. That's, I, that's how I felt when Tim told me that I had a spell called knock. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Tim oh. told me how to play the game. <laughs> But I like the drama from the uh, top-down camera. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, just do that. Just keep doing that. Keep doing that yeah. every time. Oh, until we Josh, you've changed. Sorry, Tim. I feel bad now. Uh, it's That's absolutely fine. I love it. Look at you, Josh. Uh, like, you, you, you summoned a box, you turned a man into a tree, and now you, you know... You've got inspiration. Yeah. You've got inspiration. You know, yeah. just, Who's who scoring your man? report card tonight? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I've learned a lot from you all on this journey, <laughs> and I feel like it's oh. it's coming out of itself. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. You, yeah. Ruined, you ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> Hashtag event prop. <laughs> <laughs> PJ. 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 PJ, put him back in his box. We don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> Heat it up. Covered in this, put it back away. Um, I feel like Josh has shown us up now. I need to do something actually good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't really have anything good though. Um, so he's not like he's completely free again. He can do anything. No, no, he's yeah. still turning into a. He's still in the box. He's, yeah, still, he's, he's still a tree. He's sorry. still partially, he's like turning into a tree. Yeah. Um. It's like the witch in Willow where they where she captures the acorn. Yeah, she starts going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the what? Willow. <laughs> the what? The, Willow. Willow. the film Willow. Wait, wait, wait. Willow. What did, what, what did, you, what did he say? Yeah. Said, it's I, like I the witch in Willow where she catches yeah, yeah, okay. the acorn yeah. and then goes. And then she goes. Mm-hmm. I thought that... you were saying end the willow. No. I like, wish in the willow. The wind in the willow. Wish in the willow. <laughs> it's like that scene well, in the wind in the, the willow world. where the box gets covered in piss. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the then they make away of the witch in piss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know when they squat Josh, over Josh. that witch that's in the microwave? Oh, so that movie. That, one. that was on G Hub, right? <laughs> 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 Um, can we quote the whole of Willow and Ellie won't have any idea what we're on about? Let's do it. Let's Wait, do it. what? Don't quote any <laughs> films. I'll, I'll literally, I'll turn my computer off. <laughs> <laughs> also, Annie, the darker it gets in your room, the more creepy Nicholas Cage is. <laughs> it is that's you can't, you can't see it. You can't see it on the screen. Fading. No, you can't. No. It's fading to the background. Anyway, it's Pip, what did Judge do? I'm gonna cast produce flame, okay, and then just set the tree on fire. In wow. the uh, okay, you can absolutely do that. Uh, oh, roll three d eight. Does that mean I can just do that? Yes, so you can roll three d uh, plus five to hit. So roll d twenty. Uh, oh, sixteen. Uh, yep, and then roll three d eight for me, please. This one. 
Two. Two. Oh, no, that's a D10. <laughs> Let me try again. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> you did that in the wrong direction. <laughs> Five. Six. Five. Nice. Uh, 11 points of fire damage. Uh, it is not super happy with that. <laughs> what does it There's spread? The tree, etc. It's like all set some fire next to it as well. Nice. And it's all dry as well, so it kind of goes, goes up like tinder. But it's raining. Yeah, but it's magical fire. Okay. <laughs> Why did you roll your eyes for that? Okay. <laughs> that one oh, yeah, fine. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> I <put> a, <laughs> teleport a barrel of piss <laughs> and, the in the air, and then sense. roll it down it's on a, a slide of wind <laughs> and then separate a man with it's an axe for an hour. Yeah, but I guess fire in the rain is weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you okay? Um, I'm gonna Bear in mind, if you do anything vaguely normal, you will get an eye roll from Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a ladder. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna try and chop the chew down with my giant flaming saw. Okay, what a world hit. Um, first one, six plus 11, 17. That will hit. And then second attack. Oh, three plus 11, 14. That'll also hit. Oh. It's a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> super <laughs> difficult to get out of the way. And then it's 1d8 plus 8 on both of them. Uh, so one, so nine. Yep. And it's fire damage as well, and two, so 10. Two to stand. And then, yep. So I was 19. Sink a normal, because I get a normal smite. As part of my attack now. You do? So I'm going to do one normal one and then I'm going to sync one with a higher one, which will be. Um... Um, you also deal an additional 2d6 fire damage to any target because of oh. your flame blade, so another 4d6 damage. Flame blade. Flame blade. One, seven. Yep. Okay. Four, 13. Oh, that's 13. Oh, six, okay. 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. And then smite in them. Mm -hmm. So I actually can't find smite. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. You can sack a spell slot and you'll do uh, 2d8 plus any additional d8 per spell level above your first. So you do 2d8 on the first, 3d8 on the second, 3d8 on the first. So whatever spell level you want, sack that. Oh, what do we do on a third? Sorry. Do a third, so you do four d eight. Okay. So two. Two. Nine. Oh, I'm really ten. Wait, is it the eight, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so not yeah, yeah you can get nine on the eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's clever, isn't it? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. It's been cheating all along. <laughs> Uh, six. Twenty. <laughs> uh, one. Seven. Six. One. Seven. Six. Thirteen. One. Fourteen. And eight. Twenty-two. What does it look like when you set this tree person on fire? Yes. <laughs> Chop them down. Set it on fire. And we all piss on him. And but it's all... raining. Platform shoes. <laughs> what did she say? Can you make some platform shoes? <gasps> Maybe. Yeah, I'm not not sure. I mean, I'm asking for a friend, not for me. <laughs> but it needs to be three. Only, uh, only, if it's three. Made, only if it's where I've carved air is hot. On the... <laughs> is that what that says? Yeah. Yep. Piss well. Okay. Piss well. Air is hot. Yeah, yeah. You can have the air, <laughs> air is hot shoes. Can I have the air? <laughs> yeah, on one shoe, it says about piss. On the other one, it says air is hot. Piss well. Air is piss. Air as well. Yeah, it's piss. It's hot as well. Hot as well. Perfect. That's what your shoes say. <laughs> I'll take um, it. You, uh, you fell the tree, man, land, town known of Lumbergoth. Uh, yes. Yes. All of these things rolled into one. All of your combined hatred. Uh, uh, ignorance, <laughs> misunderstanding, and geographical uh, inexpertise all roll into one 
Uh, now Lumbergoth is no more. <coughs> big pile of meat flesh. Did we yes. technically complete the goal of freeing, of getting rid of the gnolls though? Because they are still alive, they just ran away. Yes, they are. Without without the sustaining ritual that we had, they will just decay over time and die. Oh, we did it. Years. So they were worshipping Lumbergoth like a god? I fucking yeah. knew he sucked. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were kind of like giving their flesh unto Lumbergost to create oh. a monster. Great. What's and all we there? did was put him in a box and turn him Can we box. kill him again? <laughs> I could resurrect, could, could resurrect, could resurrect him. Yeah. yeah, let's ask the gnolls for this. Let's interrogate them until they give us the spell. Why, <laughs> why <laughs> don't we pick up a little bit of him? Because he's wood, right? Take Pick up a bit of wood of him. And then if issue. we want to, we can reincarnate him. Yeah, we've got him as a shoe. I'd love that. All I did was make him laugh, okay? That's all I did. <laughs> he laugh as he I'd died. Love a, I'd love, I would love another go. I'm happy for that. <laughs> yeah, it's like another round two, Lumbergast. Next week. Little, little, little baby <laughs> Lumbergast. <in here. laughs> I might kill him again. Well, A, I might kill him again. I just love the fact Chad's now got clogs. my shoes. <laughs> Showing up. Shoes. Let's not call them shoes. They're clogs. Let's just call them clogs. <laughs> they clip clap clogs. as you walk. Clogs, clogs, yeah. clogs. <laughs> also, you're an old man now, so be careful in the clogs. I'll take them away from you if you're fine. <laughs> Will you carry me around in my new clogs? No. <laughs> we'll go find Sebastian. He can carry you in a papoose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I carried you around for three days. It's time for you to carry me around for three years. Yeah. That's why you raise children, right? <laughs> yeah. Take care of you in your later years. <laughs> Are you still good at kickball if you're old? I'm Ooh. very good at kickball. You I'm should be going to the manager. Go. We'll stick him in go. Yeah, I'm I'm exactly manager. the manager, but let me let me let me add him. Let me add him. Okay. Well, <laughs> with that, we've uh, we've gone on for a touch longer than what we usually do. Not a huge amount, but um, it certainly was worth it to finally defeat Lumbergost, the man, the myth, the legend, the town, the tree, the tree, yes. the legend, yeah, the man. Um, <laughs> There's one final, final thing to say as well um, that I've discussed with the players beforehand is that at some point, maybe not <laughs> next week, <laughs> but at some point in the future. Maybe not the week after. Maybe not the week after, but soon <laughs> and for the rest of your lives. Maybe last um, week. Maybe last, yeah, <laughs> we already did it. Maybe last <laughs> week we did it. We just haven't <laughs> noticed yet. Um, but we are going to be amalgamating our channels into one mega channel. Kind of like almost like what Lombagost did with all of the gnolls and the people of Lombagost into one big flesh monster. Oh, don't. I, this is this bit around you. I don't. I did not. Okay, okay, okay. Just with more success. With more success. <laughs> more success. With more success. Uh, but better, better off than that, we're going to unite as one big umbrella corporation. Oh, that sounds quite bad as well. Oh, that's yeah. definitely yeah. more dumb. We're going to be like the Amazon of D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It was the Jeff Bezos of. Hi, I'm Jeff Bezos. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. It's a better way of doing this. Okay. There's no well, zombies. There's no flesh involved. We just well, imagine. some flesh because we're made of flesh. Chris, <laughs> the bed was here. Yeah, it was. But and we're still going to be here going forward. Uh, but what we're going to do is be uh, because I've run uh, Catholic Questers and Eve of Ruin on the Thursday and Friday uh, on Catholic Questers channel and we're on the Critic Bed channel. We thought it might be better just to like unite forces against the evil. Uh, we're all playing in Risen World, so we're all going to just be in one big happy family of Catholic Questers. So we're going to yeah. move across uh, smoothly, like slide to the left. We're going to slide into the DMs of, um, of uh, Catholic Questers, and we're going to appear there. Uh, maybe not next week, maybe not even the week after. It depends when I've got some time off to do the whole transition. Uh, but obviously we'll um, put a redirect here on Crit the Bed Show on Twitch, and we'll just move over to Chaotic Questions, which is on Twitch as well. It'll basically be the same thing. You just have to go to a slightly different channel, watch it on a Monday, but everything else will be exactly the same. It just means there'll be um, a little bit extra stuff, like there'll be some music during the um, the stream, so there'll be battle music that I can... Um, have some effects and um, there'll be emojis on there and we can also save up for stuff like we uh, like character art and all that jazz even though we've all got character art but we can always put towards like different emotes and stuff like that 
Um, yeah. We'll just be one big happy family all together. Until we all kill each other. Until we all go into a castle and kill each other. <laughs> but this is no right. more <laughs> Absolutely. And I can do a shout out. Thank you, Night Night Cat. So, yes, forward slash night shout out. Oh, no, I don't know. Forward slash. Mm. Oh, no, I can't even do this in the because it's not linked. So, this is the reason why we we're going to move over because all this <laughs> kind of stuff over here is not linked to all the stuff over here uh, to make my life a lot easier. And I think. Um, it's going to make the channel a lot better as well when we're all together. So uh, we will um, we will we'll help Alice to help her mother to help to help her with the transition, which will literally just be instead of going here, you go there. That's it. Apo apologies Fine. to every viewer on the other channel preemptively. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> you, are... you won't come back. I hope you're ready for piss. <laughs> Thanks, Dyke. Uh, for we're going to come in hot. Yeah, we're coming in hot piss. Hot yeah, and coming in, coming in hot piss. <laughs> we bring some hot piss <laughs> to the cat Christmas. I hope our new daddy likes us. Yes. Don't say it like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who that would be. Is that Tim, what me? Who is? Okay, right. Your new old daddy likes this. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> daddy thumbs up. <laughs> daddy thumbs up. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. Yeah. See you in few weeks. Bye then. Yeah, 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 Oh, out. <laughs> oh, <cut the> and we'll see you uh we'll see you soon and we'll let you know in due time like thank yes. you yeah. <laughs> goodbye we love you, we love you all <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. Bye. 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 bye 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 bye